to open this up. We're going to scroll down. We're oh, going to go to... Hey, shh, Give me a sec. Be quiet. There we go. Videos. Uh, here, we did it on this day. And we are 17 hours in. Okay. Uh, 17. Bang, bang. Bang, bang. Bang, bang. So we're 17 hours into this challenge. There we go. Okay. Um. So. This is Pokemon Ruby, but you get the worst luck possible. Which means that you get an encounter every possible moment you could get an encounter. All of the wild Pokemon are the weakest they could possibly be. They have minimum IVs. Every Pokemon that you can get has minimum IVs. Every Pokemon that the opponent has always gets a high roll critical hit on their moves and they can literally never miss unless it's coded into the game. Like if you're a higher level than them and they use Sheer Cold, Sheer Cold will miss because that's just how it works. Um, my moves, if they are not 100% accurate, they will always miss. So, um, moves like Tackle, which has a 95% accuracy, literally will never do anything. Um, what else? If, uh, my moves always do the low roll. Um, I always get crit unless there's a way to prevent that, like with the battle armor ability. Um, we cannot ever see any shinies. Uh, we saw two shinies, though. Uh, we saw the first battle of the game where you fight a Zigzagoon that you have to kill. That was a shiny, and then Ralts is, was shiny. Um... But everything else, there's literally no chance to be shiny. If anything can go wrong, it will go wrong. If we ever get paralyzed, we're paralyzed every single turn. If we're asleep, we're asleep for the max five turns. If we get confused, we get hit five times and then break out. If we get frozen, we are frozen until the end of time. Um, if we ever get hit with a sand attack, we can never hit a move again. Um... Uh, if we ever use protect, it fails. Even on the first turn. It has a 1 in 65,000 chance to fail. How do you get a Legendary? We use a Master Ball. Same with catching Pokemon. You can only catch a Pokemon if it's 100% guaranteed. Fortunately, using a Great Ball with some Pokemon at low HP, catch it. So, with Dawn, Waterboy, and Shedinja, we brought it down to like below 30%. Used a Great Ball, it was 100% chance. Sun, we used a Master Ball. This was a Fossil. This was our starter. And that's everything. <clears throat> I think we're good. 16 hours in game, 17 hours out of the game. I don't know why, because we haven't done any resets, and we have not used any speed up. 100% crit rate for the opponents, yes. I literally just explained all of it like 30 seconds ago. Go back, use the uh, the luck clip, I think. The luck clip, I believe, explains everything. It's Murphy's Law. Yeah, it's Murphy's Law. If anything can go wrong, it will go wrong. Um, so, we have done literally all of the story in the game. The only thing that's left is Victory Road and the Elite Four and the Champion. And today, I am going to finish the challenge. The stream is not going to be done until we finish. Seems easy? I, yeah. Yeah, it's, you know, it usually takes me 17 hours to complete Pokemon Emerald. Okay, so we need uh, rare... No, not rare candies. We need uh, max repels. I'm going to use the repels to navigate through... The, oh, I should have done this stuff. I'm going to use the Repels to navigate through um, the other path. Steven, yeah, Steven is the champion in this one, so... Which is harder than um, Wallace, in my opinion. IMO. Thoughts on strategy games like TFT or Dota or Auto Chess? I've never played any of them, and I really haven't seen any of them too much. It's not going to be a 24-hour stream, okay? Yeah. Why do you look so angry? I... This is just how I look. I could dunk on you right now, but you know what? I'm, I'm choosing not to. I, I, I hope you appreciate that. Forty-eight hour stream. Oh no! Wait, I can't run now at all. This tentacle might kill me. Oh, I have a dig. I'll be fine. I think. Yeah, here. Now I'm angry. Hear me out. Dunking on them is fun. It's gotten to the point now where if I ever dunk on anybody, people take it out of context and it's like, look at this asshole. He's, he's being so mean. And I'm like, Sh shut up. Fuck you. But, but then they're like, see? That just confirms it. 
I, I only dunk if it's, it's, it's very, very, um, uh, we're dead. If it's very, very justified now. Do repples not work? I need to send out a stronger Pokemon. I actually shouldn't have you. So we just need to have ad sign out. I completely forgot. I was reading chat. Uh, Ryan, Big Man, Johnny, Almer, Jojo. Thank you for all the subs. Look at this. So max roll crit from a level 30 Wingle does... About a, a third of my health as a level 44 Blaziken. Very cool. Nice. What does worst possible luck even mean? Just use the, 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 the luck command. That should explain it all for you. You have very expressive eyebrows. Do I? I don't know how to make it to... I, I, I always take the wrong path here. Do you want the command in the title? You know what? I think that would be a very good thing. I would appreciate it if it was in the title, yes. Maybe like worst and then exclamation point luck possible. And just to have luck in all caps in the title. Because then people will be like, okay, luck is the command. It's not worst luck. No hat today? Nah, my hair was good enough. I only wear the hat if my hair is bad. Wait, I think I just trapped myself. Repl, what about it? Yeah? Can you dunk on me? It's my birthday. It'll be a nice way to celebrate it. Yeah? Another day. Wait, you gotta say something stupid. Say something stupid. I'll do it. I'll do it. Okay. El 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 Castro Castro. Here we go. Something stupid, yeah. Nice, nice sense of, of hu humor, dummy. <laughs> Got him. All right, Evergrande City. Uh, the one thing that's Ruby goes actually insane for is they put the Wally battle at the end of Victory Road. So at your when you're on your last legs about to escape, Wally just walks up and stomps you. Hey, no, no, you can't. That's not. I mean, that is something stupid, but. <laughs> Oh no, they got banned on their birthday. They said something racist. Oh, the ultimate dunk getting banned. I'm so... God damn it. Don't say something racist, say something stupid. I mean, that is stupid, but like... Bruh! Don't say you're sorry, they're racist. I mean, yeah, but... It's... It's just like a... Oh, honey. You know. You could have just said nothing. Okay. Uh, we need to still level up Shanja, but also Crit Proof has kind of been carrying. What is Crit Proof's learn set? What does Crit Proof know? What does it know? It knows Facade, Ancient Power, and Earthquake, and Harden. That's pretty decent, you know, we'll take that. Sev, thanks for the gift sub. <clears throat> Yo, Rai. Hey, Rai, how's how's the TikTok doing? I, I noticed there haven't been uploads. I think it was because you were traveling, right? I didn't want to, like, press because you were traveling, but was that the case? Because I th think there's a few ready. Uh, so... Uh, easy dumb question, why crit proof? Ah, I don't know. Uh, uh, you should, you should know. Uh, uh. At sign, go. Uploading should resume tonight. Excellent. The TikToks are doing super good. Good job. They do oh. Okay, well, we're going to be asleep for five turns. Luckily, we have prepared for this because we have the blue flute that we have used quite a lot. You're still in the us. Ah. Okay, ingrain, that's fine. It's at full health anyways. I think we can one-shot it. I know it's our level, but like... Flamethrower is gonna do a lot of damage. You still can't stop a super effective move. That stab. Pretty good. MC Box Troll, thank you. And Cowan in Industries, thanks for the gift. So busy with AX. Hey, yeah, I, I get it. You know, you, you, you take your time. Uh, do I have anyone that knows Flash? Uh, wait, a water boy might be able to learn Flash. This could be good. Because I, I really don't want to wander around this Aimly. 
aimlessly. I totally thought what it has those red orbs. You'd think they could flash. All right, we're gonna do it blind. Okay, I don't think that's the right way. It might be the right way, but I don't think it is. Oh wait, I said I'm not using speed up. I forgot. Okay, that was the punishment. We're running now. Yeah, we're not using speed up because it makes this challenge even more painful with the bad luck. It punishes you for not doing, like, repples and stuff. Alright, we're just going to send a our, keep our level 44 out front. Uh, is luck XP luck-based? Nah, 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 nah. Alright, so I have cheated in this challenge. It is completely invalid. We lose. Um, sad for me. Repples effect wore off. Good luck, man. Worst luck sounds terrible. Oh, it is, yeah. 100%. It's it's terrible. Wait. <laughs> Did you just say good luck, man? Worst luck sounds terrible? You realize I can't have good luck, right? No one knows ro Oh my god, bro. Okay. Have you played Elden Ring? Yeah. Um what is I need to I need a move that is easily Shedinja learns Flash. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure Shedinja has four moves. Never mind. Okay, but we definitely need Rock Smash. You on Victory Road? Yes. Did I make this for you? Also, yes. Um. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. Crit Proof already knows four moves. We've deleted. Yes. We're gonna delete... Harden because we can reteach Harden if we need. Do you give Sun Rock Smash? No, I did not give my Sun Rock Smash. Okay, that'll help at least. You've never seen me, and I'm live. I am live. Let's go. My new Pokemon challenge is doing actually kind of. It's it's a number one of ten now. It is my best performing YouTube video in quite a while. Yeah, it, it's one of ten. Popping off. YouTube algorithm showed you. Let's go. I love the YouTube algorithm. When it when I get a lot of views. Okay. Um. Let's. I think there's two items here. We'll grab this. Have you played RuneScape? I played a little bit. Yeah. Yo, Jared Damby, thank you. Good. Is your luck good? It's getting there. It's getting okay. All of your videos go on trending. Yeah, isn't that wild? Haven't had a 1 in 10 in so long. Feels great. I know, when you do get it after so long. Alright, let's... Yeah, we gotta fight this person. Are you seeing Rappels a lot in the cave? I will, yeah, because we'll just get an encounter every freaking step. Have you ever considered playing Pokemomo? What is... what is that? I got, like, pe so many people are bringing it up, and I'm be like, I don't want to. It doesn't interest me. I'm gonna be honest, I actually just don't know what it is. What is it? Or you remove the one that did this way. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think we'd have to flamethrower it. It's Pokemon, but online. But what does it mean? Oh, no. We can never get a crit, so if they set up with cosmic power, we're just... Hmm... That's gonna be a crit. That's gonna do a lot of damage. Or, hey, uh, Claydol's attack sucks. Claydol's attack... Yeah, Claydol's attack is awful. We're fine. Yeah, we're good. Alright, no problem. Does more total channel views help throw you into the algorithm? Just got access to my old YouTube account. No. Literally. Cool trainer Shannon. Basically with like YouTube, you know, each video kind of carries itself. If you have an existing subscriber base, they're more likely to watch the video because they recognize your name. And like YouTube will recommend it if they think that your audience will watch that video. But I can upload a video that is like different from other content and it just won't get a ton of views because it's just it's different from my other content like for example let's look at my videos um 
Like, if I upload a Minecraft video, it depends. Like, sometimes it doesn't do as well just because it's Minecraft and people uh, don't know me specifically for Minecraft. But I upload a good Minecraft video, it's going to do well. You know, um, I'm just looking at my YouTube channel really quick. Um, you know, I'm the, with the Mario Odyssey Hide and Seek. You know, I have an existing audience that watches a lot of Super Mario Odyssey, but there's so much hide-and-seek content out there now that, you know, people are starting to burn out of it. People are getting less interested. They're like, ah, I've seen hide-and-seek already. You know, I know what it's about. It was fun, but I'm done with it for now, right? So it's kind of, uh, you know, just because, you know, I have a big audience doesn't mean everyone's going to watch it. Yeah, what's up, Nicholas? Ultra Ball, cool. You should do an Ironmon and be the first to win it. Has no one ever completed an Ironmon? Yeah, people have? Okay, I'm like, that's a little ridiculous. And yeah, Blank IQ Hiding Spot always does well. Oh, of course it does. Really? Wild... Oh, no. I have to level up once, because wild Pokemon are now the, at the level of my highest level, which means they're just going to show up every freaking moment. Alright. Are you the first to try this challenge? As far as I know, yeah. But honestly, there's... I keep bumping this. I need to unmap that. I keep on ba uh, bumping it now. Da, 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 da. We should be fine here. Wait, I didn't use the flute? I looked away. Yeah, we get hit 100% of the time. Okay, well, add sign's dead. Oops. What's your process for thinking of new ideas? It's usually this. I just lay on the floor until I think of something that seems like it could be cool. Reminds me of yesterday's raid. Oh yeah, sorry about yesterday's raid. I didn't realize we raided someone. We raid- so... All six of us playing, um... All six of us. Do I have any revives? I do not. Okay. Uh, all six of us were playing Super Mario Odyssey Hide and Seek. And then we decided, hey, let's all raid the same person. And so we raided the same person with like six, seven thousand people. The person we raided was sleeping. <laughs> I didn't know. I, I didn't know. <sighs> Are you using a dinner table chair? Yes, it sucks. Alright, I think we're guaranteed to kill this. Is Kano doing another one of those unlimited stream things? Always streaming, yeah. It's ridiculous. Einzelmeis, thanks for the five. Pittus, 27. Crazy. Did you wake them up? He he moved a little bit, but he didn't wake up, it looks like. Uh, the thing that sucks about crit proof is if we get a wild encounter, we still are going to get destroyed by it. Because uh, it's going to be faster. We can't run, so we just have to fight everything. Do you know when you knew Chera will arrive? No, because I called the company and they didn't call me back. Like, I called, like, leave a message after the, you know, whatever. And I was like, okay. I'll call back, I guess. Or I'll, I'll wait for their call back. And they haven't called me back. It's been like a week. 
It's ridiculous. So, um... I have just been waiting. And waiting, and they haven't called me back, and so I'm never gonna go to that company ever again. Alright. Uh-oh, they have a move that can hit me. Yikes. Time to call again. I'm not gonna call them again. I'm gonna call a different company because they didn't call me back. One Skyblock video. When I write a script for a thousand hours of content, that's always burning. I think the best move for the opponents in this challenge is either like Thunderbolt because it always paralyzes. I think it's Thunderbolt. Something like Thunderbolt is crazy good because it deals an insane amount of damage but also paralyzes you, so you just can't move. I'm gonna hope this does a lot. I know I'm... Wow! Zap Cannon never misses. Yeah, I guess Zap Cannon would be the best. Well, it's gonna kill me with a quick attack. I don't know if I can win. I'll just be honest. Does try attack randomly choose a status? Try attack always does paralysis. It outspeeds in those confused right. Oh no. Ah okay, well we have a flute for confusion at least. That's gonna burn. I have to use one of my energy roots. We're, we're probably gonna wait out here. <sighs> Cause like, now I'm gonna have to fix this burn? With the lava cookie? But then it's just gonna confuse ray me. And now I'm gonna have to use the flute to fix the confuse ray, but it then it's just gonna ember me, so it's gonna burn, so I'm gonna have to use a lava cookie, but when I use a lava cookie, it's just gonna use confuse. Maybe it will attack me instead of using Confuse Ray. I got one attack in. I don't think I'll survive another burn. Yeah, I, I just have to let it be burned and hope it doesn't Confuse Ray me. She has a full restore. Use energy root on Blaziken. Blaziken is dead! It died! It's gone! Why don't we send- what am I doing? Why didn't I send out Sun, bro? I completely forgot we had a Groudon! <laughs> what am I doing? Just freaking Earthquake! Oh no, Ember! Oh no. Ember. With the burn? Huh? Why is it called sun? Because it it starts a it starts a sunny day. Like the sun. It makes the sunlight the sunlight is strong. It has the drought ability. I thought burn reduces defense. Nah, it, it reduces attack. It halves your attack. Alright, so I know shit edge is only level 29, but it has a shadow ball and it has three swords and under its belt. And Sand Slash cannot do anything with me. How bad is this luck? Bad. The worst. Alright, Shadow Ball. Burn halves your attack. Yes. 
Alright, let's see how much this does. Wow, I'm level 20. I mean, I am a plus 6. But like, a low roll attack like that? Dang. And yes, Shadow Ball is physical in this gen. It's dumb. Gen 4, they fixed everything. Gen 4 is when... Gen 4, Gen 5 is when Pokemon peaked. Do every time a Pokemon dies, I get 50 subs? You get 50 subs every time a Pokemon dies? Alright then. Uh, time to murder my entire team. Let's get the bag. Good deal, yeah. Alright, um... I think the fast path is going across this waterfall, going down and around. I think. Because, like, you can get that item, but, like, screw it. I don't need that. And then we can go on this ladder. I think this is the way to go. I've played Horizon. Zero, Dawn, or Forbidden West games? I have not. Gen 5 is criminally terrible. It's not underrated. I think, I think aside from, like, the, the, the weather being too overpowered in terms of, like, competitive, I think Gen 5 is pretty cool. Okay, wait. We're about to fight Wally. Wall Wally? Yeah. Yeah. I think we have a required, yeah, a required battle here. I'm gonna hope Groudon can handle it. I really like Gen 6, actually. You know what? In terms of accessibility, you know, the Pokedex, all of the different things you could do, I think Gen 6 may be one of my favorite gens in terms of, like, actually, like, playing the game. I don't have a fire move. Oh, okay, sweet. The worst gen in my opinion? Uh, I think the worst gen is either gen 2 or gen 7. Gen 1, gen 2, or gen 7. Because Gen 7, I don't know, I just, I remember playing through it, I finished the game and I was like, finally it's done. Like, I remember when I finished it, I didn't do any post-game, I was just like, finally it's done. And th that's a sign of a bad game and you're just playing off nostalgia. Oh wait, we're, okay, fighting Wally at the end of this. I'm not saving the game. We're just gonna do it. This was so mean, by the way. This is, like, Game Freak was, you get through this giant gauntlet. And then Wally rolls up with a full team of super strong Pokemon. He's like, hey, I did everything in my power I, to beat you, including waiting till your team is weak as hell. What if it's hailing and you use Blizzard? Uh, that would surpass the accuracy check, which guarantees my hit. Alright, Altaria. Uh, Dragon Flying. So, a perfect counter to my Pokemon. I'm just going to send in Crit Proof and I'm going to try and uh, Ancient Power. If it uses Dragon Breath, we're kind of just screwed. Because we'll just get paralyzed. So let's hope it doesn't use Dragon Breath. Because I think this outspeeds my whole team. And if it uses Dragon Breath, we just lose. Because we can never hit. It's dragon dancing to raise up the power of its dragon breath? Oh, that's good. Yes, good. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
Shedinja walls. I bet it does. I, I really bet it does. Shedinja does. It, it can stop that area lace for sure. Okay, we have a few healing items still, so we can take another area lace. Dragon moves are all special in Gen 3. While he's a super potion, that's stupid of him. I think we kill with a with an ancient power now. Oh. In your opinion, which generation has the best starters? Alright, let's take a look. Got Bulbasaur, Charmander, Squirtle, Pikachu, Eevee, Chikorita. Okay, Gen 1 is... Okay, I'm just going to go through. So Gen 1 is definitely better than Gen 2. I like Totodile, but that's pretty much the only good one. Um, okay, Gen 3 is definitely better than Gen 1. Gen 4. Is Gen 4 better than Gen 3? Yeah. Yeah, Gen 4 is better starters than Gen 3. Every starter in Gen 4 hits. Where I think only two of the three in Gen 3 hit. Sceptile is, is a miss. Um, Chespin, Fennec, and Froakie. They're like, okay. They're maybe like second place. Gen 6 or Gen 7. Definitely not a hit. Gen 8, not a hit. Gen 9 might be second place. It depends on the evolutions. Yeah, Gen 4 has the best starters. Gen 4 is the best starters. What about Gen 5? Some of the worst starters. Gen 5 is some of the worst starters in all of Pokemon. It's almost as bad as Gen 2. Yeah, I think out of all the starters, Turtwig is my favorite. Alright, Delcaddy, will I switch? What the heck does Delcaddy know for me? Yeah, I don't know. I'm just gonna Earthquake the Delcaddy. Empoleon is a big myth. Nah, Empoleon's cool. Alright, we can Earthquake. Yeah, we have to be the Delcaddy. Nice. Okay. Crit proof grew to level 44. Nice. Another level. What to send in Roselia? Will we switch? Um, I really need a fire type move on my son. I think we're just going to earthquake the Ro Roselia, though. That's really the best thing I can do right now. Because, like, I could try and switch in uh, Shedinja. But then Shedinja might be. Uh poisoned or something. Torterra's 4x weak to ice, but being water neutral to water is so bad. I'm not talking about how good they are competitively. I'm talking about their looks, how memorable they are, how cool they are, okay? Sure, like, gen, a certain gen might be the most broken competitively. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about the coolest ones. The best ones. About to use Magneton? I'm so sorry. Alright. Sun is actually doing pretty well. Oh uh, yeah, Leech Seed from Roselia, right. I hope someone understands what his objective opinion is. No, it's not an opinion, it's fact. Gen 4 is the best. Alright, alright. Let's see if this Gardevoir can do anything. What can Gardevoir do to an empty shell? There's new Whooper form leaks? Hello, friends. Hope you're all doing as a water ground type. It could be further point in the case it may be hinting at the uh, is but then they open it could be up to that 
name is official enough. There could be more. First one I'm recording is very exciting on being a fanatic dark type. But this is the. Not confirmed. It's not confirmed. I hope if, if Wooper has a new regional type, it better have a cool evolution. It's the emote. Did you get it? Okay, we're just gonna swords dance. Aha! The only thing I know is a psychic. Da -da -da -da. Coming for that whooper? You can't. I will. You can't get the whooper. Did I just lose? Rock pet facade, ancient power, earthquake. I don't have any moves that can raise my accuracy. Um, we're just gonna have to PP stall until it struggles. We don't have the key item flute in this gen, so I can't spam it. We just gotta switch. Do you see the beta whooper? Yeah, it's called beta whooper for a reason. It's not a Chad like my Chad alpha whooper. It's beta. Struggle is typeless. It will hit me. Uh. A can't use struggle. Yes, I can. Please only speak if you know what you're talking about. Thank you. If Pokeball's a throw, I'm just gonna switch back and forth. You have Flash, no? Flash doesn't do anything. Flash can miss, and even if it could hit, it wouldn't do anything, because they always hit anyways. We have the worst luck possible. Come on. It's the horny Pokemon. It's not. A, it's just a Gardevoir. It's not a horny. What are you talking about? You're the you're the horny one. You look different today. I shaved this morning. I shaved. Maybe that's it. Oh man, you know what I went and did today? I feel like an an adult. Kind of. Okay, so... Annabella streams upstairs. And, uh, I've just... Because she wasn't able to get her computer here. I've just been letting her get my old one. And so she's been streaming some, I think, Dark Souls 2 recently. But my computer just keeps shutting itself off randomly. It just, like, poof, just shuts itself off randomly after, like, 20, 30 minutes. Um, and her stream just dies. Right? And so, after talking with some chat, they were like, well, maybe it's... Maybe it's overheating, and it's shutting itself down. Eh, maybe, you know. It's probably the power... That was a power supply issue for you? Um... And the thing is... My... My, uh, what I forgot was that when I used to use that computer, whenever I was rendering any videos, I had to put a fan on the outside of it and open up the side of it because it would overheat. And I was like, oh yeah, it's probably because it's overheating. Uh, I, and I forgot to tell you about that. And so she opened the side of it up and there was probably a half-inch layer of dust around the CPU cooler, just caked around it.
So, uh, we w went out today and, uh, wound up getting a, uh, a nice... Ah, shit. I think we lose this battle. That's gonna one-shot. Yeah, we just lost. We just lost. We'll have to come back and fight Wally. We just lost. How embarrassing. It had Future Sight and never used it for like 30 turns. Wow. And now it's at plus 6 Calm Mind. We white it out. That's embarrassing. Well, That hurts. I lost to Wally LMAO. It- yeah, don't- don't twist the knife. Wait, a male Gardevoir? Yeah, they can be male. Unlike the content you've been looking at. Jeez, weirdo. Um... Anyways... <clears throat> what was I gonna say? Right. So yeah, I ended up this morning, the reason why the stream was a few minutes late, this morning we went out I bought just like a full air compressor, because I kind of needed one anyways. But I've got like an air compressor with like the hoses and the, the, the quick uh, uh, quick attach, quick release, like little, little things on them. And I like spent probably an hour blowing dust out of my old PC. And uh, now, it, now it's very clean. I hope, I hope our stream goes well. And it's not like a power supply issue on top of that. But yeah, ended up a uh, air supply, got like an air air compressor and blew it out, and there was so much dust. So much. Forgot one side and underneath. Wait, I think I got underneath. Like I did it underneath very, very thoroughly. I thought. The guard thing. I don't know what thing. Anyways, we're about to fight the the freaking bad dude with. What we got? How long left on Victory Road? It's just like a few seconds. Remember Victory Road to be a lot longer? Yeah, if you don't know where you're going, it's a lot longer. Why did Wally's location in Victory Road change in Emerald? It's so. You fight Wally right after you healed rather than when all of your Pokemon are dead. Gotta be careful with air compressors though, moisture can come out. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I've I've used air compressors a lot in uh, in the past. I, I'm actually quite the handy fella, alright? I know how to use all this all this equipment. I remember um I was like setting up some random stuff when we were moving in. And Annabelle's like, where did you learn all this random stuff? With like just like a random tools. Like yeah, I I guess everybody doesn't just know how to, how to do this kind of stuff. It's like, no. Because I, uh, I have, um... The, the jobs that I had was, like, you know, I was working on some, like, like, manual labor jobs with tools and things. Wait, were you able to climb into the ceiling of your school's gym? Yeah. Uh, that's kind of unrelated, but yeah, is your hair darker than usual? Uh, maybe I, I, maybe it's still wet from the shower that I had. You teach GMs mid fight? No. That'd be random. Chucking a disc down their throat mid fight. All right, looks like we went for the dragon dance instead of uh, dragon breath, so we're kind of set right now. Get somebody explain what Smash was talking about. Uh, use the GF command. Didn't you work like a septic tank company? I worked for a, a septic truck swamp. I was uh, a septic truck. Yeah, they had like a septic truck. I don't know who's coming out, but I'm pretty sure Sun can handle everything. If it got hit enough to shut down, yeah, we replaced the thermal paste today as well. I got that. The the rub the the, the alcohol and scrubbed it off. 
like some special pads or whatever. Yeah, we, we, we tuned up the, the PC. But yeah, what was your dream job? Um, I remember when I was a kid. I was young. And my, 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 uh, a long time ago, my dad used to be a police officer, and I was like, I want to be a police officer. But then, once I, uh, actually, like, you know, began to think for myself, and didn't just be like, man, my parents are the coolest people in the world. Um... The job that I actually wanted, that I chose for myself, that I heard about... Video game tester. Because I was like, they just get to play video games all day? Like, they just get to sit there and then play a video game. That sounds so fun. Whoa! Because in my head, I'm like, ah, you just, you just play the video game and do whatever you want. And so, you know, as I got older, I realized, wait a minute, that's not exactly what the, what the job was. That's not the you don't just play whatever game you want you you have to play one game Until you're so sick of it. You never want to touch it again, and it, it's work so but you know What I imagined was basically what I'm doing right now I was just imagining this basically Okay, thank God it did not use double team this time yeah, my, what I want, my job as a kid is the job I have, job I wanted as a kid is the job I had now. And I remember, like, doing manual labor jobs. Please kill, please kill, please kill, please kill, please. Don't use double team. Oh, if it uses double team, I'll cry. Okay. Oh, he uses super potion! He's an idiot! Huh! Whew. How do you counter double team? You just kill them before they use double team. Alright. Nice. Freaking Wally is a dummy, dude. That, we actually made it here way faster than I expected. I've been lying for like, not that long. Is double team particularly strong in Gen 3? I mean, it makes it so you can literally never hit them ever again, so it's pretty good. Does the Elite Four have double team? Yeah, there's a bunch that have double team. There's some that have sand attack. It's it's gonna be a mess. Yeah. I remember when I was a kid. I was young. Believe in yourself and your Pokemon and go for it. Blah, 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 blah. I do not care. Alright, let's take a look. I just want to see, do we have any Pokemon in the box that are worth using? Huh? Yeah. We're gonna need to go buy some uh, revival items, so I'm just gonna go grab them. You have any Pokemon with Aerial Ace and Shockwave? I've been saving Aerial Ace and Shockwave. Just in case. Uh, I'm pretty sure uh, Shiftry could learn Aerial Ace. Or Shiftry learns Double Team. Okay, Revival Herb. I can buy six. Yeah, we're gonna need more than that. How are you gonna do it with this team, LOL? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. <sighs> that literally does nothing. Um... Yeah, we've saved Bulk Up Calm Mind. Water Pulse, Shockwave Aerial Ace, because they can actually do something. Granted, the daycare, that's one thing we have not allowed ourselves to do. Alright. Yeah, we need to put a fire attack on Sun, I agree, instead of maybe Slash. <laughs> Just grind to level 100, yeah. <sighs> we need more money. I think we're gonna grind money really quick, because we need to set up our team a little bit better. So... Where are the, uh, the, 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 the people with the money? The interview people? The casino is a guaranteed loss, yeah. We need 80 grand to be able to buy one flamethrower. I think it's to the right of Fortree, yeah? Wait, this is the Fortree? I'm dumb. Da, da, da. 
What happens when you use double team or sand attack? Literally nothing. The opponent always hits. Fight the trainers around cycling path. There are a few little rich boys. Is it true you don't consume caffeine? I do consume caffeine. They switch places every battle? Yeah. Okay. Do we still have a amulet coin? I think it's on ad sign. Yes. Okay. I think we need to level up Shedinja so we can do a little bit more damage. Shedinja is going to be very helpful for this challenge, I think. Because, you know, just Shedinja strats help with a lot of Pokemon in the Elite Four. Um, we'll need some Lepa Berries, I think, but that's okay. Uh, I think the reporters are here, right? No, they are not. Okay. Where are they then? Are they to the right of Mauville? Ethereal, thanks for the 23. They're north above Mauville? I've already fought them above Mauville. North of Marvel, east of Marvel. Okay. <laughs> They're definitely not north of Marvel. Is Slash a guaranteed crit for your opponent? Everything is a guaranteed crit for the opponent. <laughs> That's Thunderbolt. Yeah. Da, 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 da. After Rock Smash, and they would be here, right? All right. What does Met Metronome pull to benefit the CPU? Uh, none of the CPUs in the game actually know Metronome. Uh. Okay. Ah, here they are, these stupid little things. Okay, we have to do a double battle. You know what? Can I just, like, Earthquake? I think I can just Earthquake. But if you use Metronome, it always uses Splash. Oh, frick. Yeah, right. Amulet coin. Uh... Alright. Alright, thank you. I forgot about the amulet coin stuff. Might not KO. Uh... I just can't attack now. Screw this. At sign is going to use the yellow flute on sun, and then sun is just gonna earthquake. I don't care that at sign goes down. Whatever. Actually, every attack is a low roll. I critical hit myself. Never mind. My first crit, I'll play through. So you can get a crit. Only if you're hitting yourself. Man, that's some awful luck. <laughs> I didn't even think about that. I thought it was going to be a low roll, but I mean, I guess it makes sense. <laughs> ah, that's good. That's really good. Oh, come on. How much money we get from that? Damn. Alright, do they cycle through? Like, where are they gonna be now? Are they gonna be east of Mauville? 
Mm. Had a hand of sheer cold, sheer cold, just be a higher level forehead. Is Yoshi a good name for Trico? That's an excellent name. Heal? Nah. These trainers are easy as hell, dude. You got 3,000? Yeah, but we doubled it. If an opponent uses Sheer Cold, it will hit 100% of the time, unless you are a higher level, in which case it will never hit you because one hit KO moves can never hit Pokemon that are a higher level than you. Dawn is dead. Ooh, so surf is the only move that does anything. Unless we're freed from rap. Free me from rap, please. Eagle, thanks for the tier one. Give the amulet coin to Don. Don has the amulet coin. Free me from rap, please. No, wait. Rap will last maximum amount of turns. Speed up. No speed up in this challenge. This this challenge was no speed up allowed. <sighs> okay, we need to go to the Pokemon Center to heal this. Actually, no, we don't. We'll just do this. We'll do this. What is he trying to get? I need flamethrower for sun, but since we can never win in the, um... We're literally never able to win the game corner. We have to spend $80,000 to buy flamethrower to get enough coins. Yes, below. All right. Here we go. Yeah, worst luck is the speed up actually just doesn't work on my emulator. Exactly. Do Pokemon, but the opponent's always one shot. Uh, we actually did that in Pokemon uh, Heart Gold, but uh, then the mod didn't work, so we just decided to do Damageless. So we just never got hit at all instead, because it wasn't working properly. Nice. We get like 7k every battle. Getting loaded up, baby. Da, 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 da. Wasn't the level 100 trainers basically the one shot for most of the game? It was for a lot of the game, yeah. It wasn't until like the sixth badge that we survived our first hit. YouTube damage was on platinum and heart gold. Yeah, I just haven't made the YouTube video for heart gold yet. We're gonna do the Ludlock video first and then the other one. Is the trick house on Winston's not worth it? Nah. This is more efficient money grinding. Do, do, do. Da, da, da. Did you find the Ludlock very hard? It was just time consuming. It was kind of fun puzzle solving, but I don't know. I don't think I'll do another one. It was like a lot of streams where we were just like sitting there using a calculator. Because I mean, to win a Nuzlocke at that, with that type of mod on where it like makes all of the teams that you're fighting against insanely good, like you just have to calc literally everything. Like every battle, we went in knowing a winning strategy. 444 Lucas, thanks for the five months. It survived. Attacked the wrong one. 
Oh, shit, Andrew's a genius. Can it miss? It can miss. That sucks. With 1x accuracy, it would hit every time, I think. What's the max power of Fury Cutter? Because, yeah, we could use 1x accuracy. It will always do at least 2 damage. Wait, really? Is it bugged in, in this gen? If it misses or switched out, a maximum of 160. Yeah, no. It seems like it does, it, it'll do, yeah. It'll do 10, and then 20, and then 40, and then 80, and then 160. And you can just spam it, right? What, it only hit once? What are you talking about? What games you play off stream? Like, Fury Cutter will only hit once. Because that's what it does. And then if you use it the next turn, it'll double damage. And then if you use it the next turn, it'll double damage up until it has a base power of 160. Do you think it's, it's not like Bullet Seed or like Fury Swipes? <laughs> it's like Bug Rollout, except you can switch moves. How about this? It's like Dig, except it's only the second turn and it's really weak. But if you use it one after another, like if you keep using it, it gets stronger every time to counteract how weak it is. That should that should help Chad understand it. You get everything just has to be explained in terms of dig, and then you'll get it. That's how it works. Nice dig theory, yeah. Please go. Wow, so loud, X Bloud. What is this theory? D uh, every move in Pokemon is based off of Dig. You can, if if you just look at it, look at every move in a in a unbiased from an unbiased perspective, you can see that every move is really just Dig, in some way. Yeah, Fly is just Dig in the wrong direction. Freeze dry? What is freeze dry? Every move that damages is dig. Every move that doesn't damage is also dig. You know, dig and tail whip. Oh, that's easy. So, basically, the way uh, tail whip works is it does no damage, but it lowers their defense. It's just like dig, because on the first turn of dig, no damage is dealt. But, you know, if it's just the first turn of dig, it's got to do something. So you just make it lower damage. Or lower lower def defense. You know, if it's not going to do damage, it's got to have a secondary effect to balance it out. It's just the first turn of dig. But it also lowers defense because it doesn't have the attacking phase. Also, they remove the invulnerability, which, you know, is a little bit controversial. But, yeah, it's fine. How about Destiny Bond? Again... Destiny Bond. It's like the first turn of Dig, except they remove the invulnerability. 
But because they remove the invulnerability, it has to have some secondary effect. You know, they can't just have a move do nothing. So, um... So, to balance it out, if you die, then the other Pokemon dies. Metronome. I mean, Metronome is just... Dig, but you make a man random modification to it. What about Splash? Okay, well, Splash is just the first turn of Dig, because it's a joke. Obviously. Without the invulnerability. How do you get the catch rate to be 100% on the tentacle? You just make it weaker. Like, you, you reduce its HP. Works every time. No astonishing the Shedinja. Uh oh, Shedinja's dead. Back to Fury Cutter. If you choice band, it's good? No. It's, uh, we need to use the next accuracy, and then it, it'll be good. Because if you use the next accuracy and just survive, I think it's fine. Transform? Transform's easy. You just transform to the other Pokemon who has four more variants of the move Dig. Once we have 80k, we're buying Flamethrower. <laughs> 36k. We're getting there. How you liking Calgary? It's good. Isn't there, like, some event on Calgary? There's, like, people keep asking me about, like, a, a Calgary Stampede. Finally, Jesus. About two weeks ago, I went to sign up for property taxes because they were due on July 1st. I just got the email, so I'm now allowed to pay them. They're like, hey, you have a penalty applied to your account because you didn't pay it by July 1st. I tried to pay it a week before. You didn't send me the email until today. Ridiculous. Stampede is sick for all ages. I tried to pay my- I literally tried! Oh, did I use speed up? Ah, whatever. Doesn't matter too much. Dispute it? It's too much work. It'll probably be like $10. I can't imagine it's- If it's like over 100, maybe I'll call and be like- Come on! Like, I was willing to pay it. Amulet coin? Wait, yeah, wait, who has the amulet coin? Who has the amulet coin right now? Shedinja? Ah, oh, frick. You have the soft sand, yeah. How can you remote start with small, but your name is small? Did you change your Twitch name recently? Um, if, as your partner, you can change your prefix. Uh, my original prefix was Smala, S-M-A-L-L-A. -L -L -A, uh, when I was an affiliate. And then, uh, I changed it to S-A-O, which stood for Small Ant One. And then, uh, I changed it because everyone was like, So you like anime then, huh? And I'm like, what are you- what? Why is your prefix sorted out online? <sighs> what? And then we then then someone pointed out that small was not taken by some miracle. And so uh yeah, small. We change it to small. It's easier to type than SMALO. And uh SMOL is like kind of kind of silly like that. S 
Small Ant Online. That's me. Streaming. Small stands for Super Mario Odyssey Late. No, Super Mario Odyssey Legend. Okay, I'm really good. There's a 7% penalty that was added to your unpaid tax bill balance. Okay, that's that's not too bad. 7% would be... 7% of... Okay, 10 for 2. Okay, that's only 1800 extra. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. It's not an extra eight. It's I. I'm pretty sure that's like the total amount of my property taxes. All right. It's probably like a hundred and hundred dollars that I gotta pay extra because I missed the date. It's gonna be like nothing. Should not be an issue. It sucks a little bit, but whatever. I gave Don the the item, right? I'm just gonna double check. I did, yeah. And now it should one shot with Earthquake, so this is gonna take significantly less time. Are you balding? Every person is balding from the day they're born. You know, everybody loses hair. I don't think I'm balding. Wait. Maybe? How would I look bald? Hairline check. Caillou. I'm pretty sure my hairline is the same as it was in high school. I saw a picture and I was like, yeah, it looks about the same. What did, did I did did Sun level up and not get a single attack stat? That's actually insane. Sun leveled up and didn't get any attack because it's not doing more damage. What you just walk into? Nothing. Your hair would be thinner up top if it was balding. It feels about the same. I haven't noticed any difference. And whenever I go to the- whenever I go to get my hair cut, they're like, You have so much hair, what the heck? They always- they're like, it's not like a complaint, they're just like, how is this possible? Because all of my hairs are very, very thin. If I sub this account as charity now, yeah. I- I guess. Because I- I'm- I- you know, the, the small ant charity. Where a small ant can, where the money goes straight into sm small ant's po pocket, so he can, so he can eat supper because he's 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 struggling really. Man, I saw a YouTube video yesterday. That was really wacky. Wait, why did? Where it was like life cycle of a YouTuber, and it was just like joking about like, hey guys. This is so great. I got one, one, ten views on my video. I'm so humbled and honored. And then it's like, you know, as they grow, they kind of like, yeah, a million subs, whatever. I'm, you know, it's like, I got two million subscribers. I can finally go full time on YouTube. And I'm like, like I'm pretty sure I went full time at like 50K. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Like, you YouTubers are... This person must not be on YouTube very often. Hashtag flex? No, it's just like, you don't need to have a huge channel to be like a, a full-time content creator. I, I also had a Twitch to help supplement it, yeah, but... YouTube provides significantly more than Twitch. Like... Like, significantly more. Like, um... 
I don't know, I've said it, but like, maybe have just like 5k views per vid, maybe. Well, depends. Ah, mm. oh, damn. Even now, your living expenses are super low. Might they were super low? They're a lot bigger now that you know I have like a house. But yeah, you make more money from YouTube. Yeah. Yeah. Um. I don't know. YouTube is like. I don't know. Depending on the month, like 3 to 10x Twitch. But yeah, right now we're grinding money because we need 80,000 Poke Dollars to buy a single TM. We're at 58. You have insane views? Yeah, I do. Also, I have multiple channels on YouTube, which kind of helps. But I mean, if you're not... You gotta fully capitalize on that kind of stuff. I was looking online, it's $16 per 1,000 views. Maybe for like, finance channels. Actually, I don't know. It, it really depends on the channel. Some cha- like, the, the Clips channel is like, one cent per a million views, and like, I don't know. Clips clips just make a little bit less and then like main channel does more than that. Oh No, no that number is about accurate. I guess Yeah, w whatever you said there. I can't remember what it was, but I think it was accurate Shorts make the least shorts are awful. Yeah, Okay, we're almost there. You're making bank off of clips? No. Clips? Uh, here, you know what? Let's see. So, the clips channel. No, 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 no leaking, Ryan. Uh, the clips channel has 7.1 million views this month. My main channel has 14 million views this month. The Clips channel makes 4% of what the main channel does. Yeah. A clip makes 8% the amount of a regular YouTube video. Are you a multi-millionaire? No, don't call me that. Don't don't lump me in with those those people. Multi. Multi. Millionaire. Rare candy grout on once. It's about. It's gonna level up soon. I'm. A, I'm a pre-billionaire. All right. I don't like to think of that millionaire mindset. Okay. Who makes coffee for you? The coffee machine. This morning it was actually Annabella. This morning I was like cleaning out the PC and reapplying thermal paste and. I walk out and there's like hash browns and french toast and coffee and juice all just waiting on the table. Man, it was it was nice. Some website said that you were a millionaire. Those websites are so inaccurate. Like if I go into Social Blade right now, I almost guarantee the numbers wrong. Yeah, the number is completely off. I am making... So, if you go into Social Blade, it says estimated monthly earnings. That number is nowhere close. The range is 4.8 thousand to 76 thousand, and it's still wrong. 
They have a $72,000 range per month, and it's still wrong. Do you live with anyone? Yeah, Annabella right now. Ant, are you a millionaire? I, I, you can do the math, I'm sure. Right now, yeah. What if I, what if I have more people that come to live? Like my, my mom's gonna be living with, with me for two days in like a week or two. What's the average CPM for gaming channels? I have no idea. I honestly, I don't know. Mine chills around like 15, 16. Sometimes it goes higher, sometimes it goes lower depending on the thing, but that's like average for the year. But I think mine is like higher than usual for some reason. Yo, wait, someone. Have you spent more than a million dollars in your life? No, no shot. No, I don't spend money on anything. The most I have ever spent is was in the month of July because I was buying furniture. And it like, I was in physical pain because I was like, oh, why is it, why, why do beds, why, why does couch, you know? Sorry, I meant June. I meant June, sorry. Why does couch? Yeah. Furniture is expensive. Especially when you're not getting like... Like when I moved into this house, I'm like, I want to get furniture that I don't need to replace. For like a very long time. And so we got like nice furniture. Like, my bed is not on the floor anymore. And is not a, a twin sized bed. Or double? It was a double. You know? Does it float then? It's it's on legs. It has a, it's a bed frame now. Now you need to clean under your bed? L? Nah. I'm not I'm not dirty like that. Bed frame, I love your posture. Thanks. This is like this is the best posture for this chair. Do you have a memory mattress and a gravity blanket? Those just sound like buzzwords. Hoenn News Channel's going bankrupt thanks to small ants. What chair are you using? It's a it's a, a kitchen chair because my regular chairs aren't here yet. Dang. Actually, I think this is fine. That's what these need to be elite for. Uh, 80k to buy flamethrower to start. Memory foam is under overrated. You hate it? Yeah. We tried memory foam beds and ended up not getting them. You get an Alaskan King? No. No. Alaskan Kings are they're just too long. Like, you know, no one in their right mind gets a bed. Like, who who sleeps in a bed just like a board? Straight legs, perfectly straight, just like a stick. Like, unless you're seven feet tall, you don't need no Alaskan King. Right? So like. You know, I'm, I'm bending my legs a little bit, you know, despite me, I think, technically being taller than the bed. You know, just, my legs are bent, so it doesn't matter. Alright, so now we're able to get Flamethrower for Sun. What's an Alaskan King? It's a king-size mattress, but taller. Alright, so we need to get 35, which is Flamethrower. Which means we need 4k. Is he going for the Elite Four? Kind of. Uh, I'm getting money for the Elite Four. And uh, you know what, chat?
We're gonna do the Elite Four in one go. No saving in between any Elite Four members. We're gonna do it in one go all the way through. If we're gonna do it, we gotta do it with confidence. Okay, so we gotta go to the move deleter really quick, delete some moves. Bison Copter, thanks for the 17 months. Why? It makes, uh, there's a lot more stakes. You know, if we mess up at the end, we gotta go back to the start. We gotta, we gotta not make mistakes. Alright, so we're gonna have at sign. Forget strength. Get your own videos or you hire an editor? Uh, I have editors for a lot of them now. Um, but I review every video and stuff still. And I do still edit up a, a couple of them when I have time. I, do, I don't have a lot of time because of the house stuff. Like it, uh, it takes a lot of time to, uh, to get all that stuff sorted out. How many gems have you beaten? All eight. We are just preparing for the Elite Four. How's your chair doing? It's uncomfortable. It's very uncomfortable. Was your longest stream? I think it was like 25 hours. We did like a 24 hour stream that went a little long. Okay, uh, you... We already got rid of your strength, right? Yes. Okay, I think that's everything. You're in the Poke News? Am I? You think so? Alright, we don't really need to get rid of- we're not gonna use Don Pelipper. Alright, cool. Tuffle! You think I'm on the news? I'm on the TV? The Name Raider Show! Tell your Pokemon's fortune! Today shall profit the nickname Crit Proof. Of Ant's Pokemon. Anorith. This nickname is a nickname that hints at talent in many different ways. Take courage and take on many challenges. I, I have taken on many challenges. There's a sublime flowing feeling to it. From fl the flow from the letter C to R, especially wonderful. I have a remarkable flair for devising nicknames. Wow. I was on TV. Nice. From the C to the R. Some incredible flow. Grr. Uh, okay, so we have Flamethrower. We're gonna teach it right now. Yes. Uh, bang. Yes, my son. You will learn Flamethrower. We're gonna get rid of... Bulk Up only has the attack bo boost, so we can just use X items. And then, uh... We're gonna get Aerial Ace, I guess, just in case we get a Pokemon that has some funky stuff. Do we give Aerial Ace... I think we give Aerial Ace to Crit Proof, because it'll handle... Uh... Yeah, I'm gonna give it... I'm gonna give it to Crit Proof rather than at sign. Shockwave... Dawn? Sun? How to ground and learn a grass move? Well, he's a ground type. Grass grows out of the ground. Earthquake, flamethrower, solar beam. Feels good. Alright, we need a few more Poke Bucks to, uh... To buy some healing items in between battles. But, uh, yeah, we're gonna give this a try. Prediction time. Let's do, for the for the prediction. Let's do. Will I make it past uh, whatever the first uh, elite four member's name on the first try? Will I pass by him on the first try? Okay. 
So yeah, will I beat Sydney on the first try? How's my hands? They're actually a little... They're a little sore. Like, they... I haven't been doing a Pokemon map randomizer races recently. Because my hands... I, I did, like, three days in a row. And it, I kind of overdid it. And so my hands have been, like... I've been very careful doing more casual challenges like this rather than competitive races. Not bothering with the Regis. The Regis are awful. Level 40. Um... Yeah, they're just not good. Oh. Yeah, pretty much all fire types can learn Solar Beam, which makes sense. It is a Solar Beam, the sun. Why don't you have Wooper? You can't get Wooper. No, dog! No! the raid yesterday? Oh yeah, I was there. <laughs> he was sleeping. There's no way you can catch the Reggies now. Maybe... Yeah, no, wait. We can't actually catch the Reggies anymore. It's just impossible. You're right. Yeah, Solar Beam actually doesn't make much sense. Yeah, why is it a grass type? Is it a mistranslation? Is it like... Plant grow beam or something. Or like photosynthesis beam. Photosynthesis beam might make sense. But then why can fire types learn it? Like what is it called in Japanese? Confuse ray. It's literally nothing. It takes in sunlight and then shoots out a solar beam. But yeah, wouldn't that be a fire type move? <laughs> Light doesn't equal fire, but it is basically like it, it, it kind of is a type of, you know, it's energy. Sydney is the first of the lead for, yes. I could use Wobbuffet in this, but I don't think I will. I don't think I will. Like, I know I have a Wobbuffet in the box, but being able to use items and a Wobbuffet means you just sweep with everything with Wobbuffet by using either Counter or, Des or Counter or Mirror Coat. Like, literally, it's impossible to lose with, like, six potions and uh, a Wobbuffet. You just, you just don't lose a fight. Solar Beam is just Solar Beam in Japanese, huh? Mm. Gotta do Meteor Share again? Yeah, at some point. At some point, it'll be fun, too. Uh, Rosario missing basically 18 months. The Pride King, five months. Booty best breakfast. Emo, emo cowboy. Tuffle with the gift sub. Thanks for all the subs, everybody. Much appreciated. Alright, we're getting money. Look at this. 7k. 7.5k. Hyperbeam on slacking is cool. Yeah, it would be cool, actually. Yeah. That's true. Oh, wait. I'm an idiot. Wait, what was I doing? Why did I give it Aerial Ace? I was going to give it Fury Cutter. Uh, I guess we'll replace Facade. Hmm. Yeah, whatever. Whatever, we'll get rid of Facade then. Because Fury Cutter is good for, like, setup. And the only Pokemon we can set up with is, uh, is Crit Proof. Can you use Rayquaza? It's literally impossible. Metal Claw can never hit. Harden. All right, yeah. Fury Cutter can miss. Not with the next accuracy. 
Da -da -da. All right, cool. We relearned Fury Cutter. That's good. Yeah, we just need a, a couple of K extra to be able to buy some things. Uh, we will now fly to Marvel. Are you in a battle? Not at the moment, Mom. What's up? If you have TMs, there's no reason why aren't you using, why aren't you selling them? We might need them. We may need them. Oh my God. Wait, is the Oh, wait, the battle tower isn't here in this one. Right, damn it. Uh, okay. What are you for breakfast today? French toast, hash browns, juice, some coffee. Good stuff. You have to do the secret wand fight in Meteor Falls? I don't need to do nothing. All right, with worst luck possible, I will do anything I can to win. You like Italian coffee? I've never had an Italian coffee. What's that like? All right, so we're gonna buy maybe 12x accuracies. And that's all of our money. Um, we'll need more than just that, won't we? Damn it. We finish the game? Uh, not yet. Apparently, we need a lot more money because I forgot how much X accuracies were. Da -da -da. I'm not sure where they are. I think they're east of Mago. Items, max rappel, go here. Yeah, okay, good. All right, let's continue fighting. Did you catch Rayquaza yet? It's literally impossible. We haven't beat the game yet. Is the amulet point 100%? Do the interview? No, 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 no. They, they got to pay extra for that. Italian has a high caffeine ratio. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, you can't beat catch requests until you beat the game. Come on, when is my son gonna? When is my son gonna freaking? Slash, the X Cloud, scratch the X Cloud. We free now, we're good, we're done here. Okay, why is Sun taking so long? That's correct, Huts. Gotten a lot stronger, blah, 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 blah. How do you think taxes work? Taxes don't work. People just build stuff. You close to leveling up 2,500 EXP. There's a way you can 100% get a chance to catch, catch Groudon? Yes, there is. I'll give you I'll give you a few seconds to think about it. Hey, there you go, Master Ball. You figured it out. <laughs> People are going to ask why you didn't catch Rayquaza. Okay, yeah. I'm going to include this in the YouTube video then. Rayquaza is not available until endgame. Remember. Remember. Er, wait, no, wait, wait, wait. Rayquaza isn't available until post game. Remember? You think you Pokemon Emerald or Pokemon Emerald, you can get it immediately. True creeps, thanks for the prime. 
Remember? Rayquaza doesn't exist yet. <laughs> Earthquake surf and we're free. Yeah, Rayquaza wasn't invented yet, chat. You know what disappoints me? They still haven't added a regional form for Onyx that's a Crystal Onyx. It was the lowest hanging fruit. And they still haven't done it. It would have been so sick. They'd just add a Crystal Onyx. They gave you rainbow muck, but not a crystal on- Like, what the heck? It's from the anime. What typing would it be? I don't know. Also, you think they're done adding evolutions? There aren't any more special types other than dragon and f Yeah, dragon, right? So they'd have to have a dragon evolution if they're gonna add anything. A fairy rock type? Yeah. That's- yeah, fairy rock type. Not that there's too many of them already. Um... Ice rock? Eh, that'd be bad. Just make a new type. Crystal type. There's enough crystal Pokemon, right? Just make all of Gen 2. Crystal type. Get it? Is, is it good? Gives a funny. <laughs> According to the anime, it has a resistance to water type moves. Okay, make it a water type then. Or it has an ability that makes it resistant to every You know what? Just don't don't change its stats too much for Crystal Onyx. Just give it an ability that makes every move not very effective against it. And just make it a rock type. Rock type, pure rock. Every every Pokemon is not very effective against this. But just don't buff its stats. And then it would be an okay Pokemon. That's OP as hell. It has the stats of an Onyx. Yeah, crystal body ability. Every move is not very effective. But skill swap? No, you can't get a crystal body. It's built in. It's one of the few that you can't skill swap. Eevee light moment. Crystal Onyx doesn't evolve. What are you talking about? <laughs> Mega Steelix has crystals in it. Not enough. Twenty five K in the bank. The anime one was weak to fire. Is there a type combination that is weak to fire but resists water? Grass? It's a grass steel type. Yeah, I don't think a Crystal Onyx is Grass Steel type. No green screen today? Ah, you haven't been in the stream in a few weeks. I moved last month, start of the month, to uh, a new city. Don't have one yet. Pure Steel? Steel doesn't resist water. The Crystal is actually a resin. The OP Posture Strat? Yeah, just slide down. Yeah, Ice doesn't resist water. 
it's kind of ridiculous that ice only resists ice. Ice should resist water. Right? Steel does not resist water. So many people on Monday were being like, psychic is strong against ghosts. No, it's, no, it's not. You're, you're thinking about the poison type that's attached to Gengar, aren't you? Dawn leveled up! Yo! That's crazy. Crit is level 50 as well. Ice melts in water? Nah, the ice freezes the water, which gives you more ice. Ever wear contacts? Nah. We should just keep the chair at this point. No. Okay, 32,000 Poke Dollars. Let's see if we can get some healing items out of that. I have some ideas. There's always Explode and Magnemite. They don't have time to get a new Pokemon. I'm stealing their money. They can't afford balls. Ice should be immune to water. Yeah. Posture check. I refuse. Wait, this is the wrong floor, isn't it? Nope. Alright, let's grab some X speeds. Or some X attacks. Some X defense. How many healing items do we got? We got 10 revival herbs. 26 energy roots. I think we need a few more energy roots. Let's do like two more battles. And then we'll be free. Then we'll go and see if we can beat Sydney on the first try. X defend? I'm pretty sure I got 20. Get 40 energy roots. Okay. Scald should be effective to ice, yeah. Pick up Veldum after the Elite Four? Nah, we're done. We're done. Once the Elite Four is done, we're finished, man. We're free. Wallace? Wallace? We already beat Wallace. Wallace is a chump. Alright, Earthquake. Surf. Voice heard after a long stream? A really long stream, maybe, yeah. We're fighting these peeps for mo money. This is like the fastest way to get money, apparently. Battle someone else, I'm bored. Alright. Just for you. That's a flinch. Never mind. We should do the secret hiker mountain battle? We can't. We can't. Are you gonna do Q and A? That's literally every stream. You look drained. Thanks. I got an excellency last night. I actually feel more rested than I have in weeks. Went to bed nice and early, got a full, like, eight and a half hours of sleep. I'm feeling good. The chair is just really uncomfortable, and so I slide down it gradually to, to have a dynamic posture so it doesn't destroy my back. You ever taken melatonin? No. I don't need that melatonin crap. Literally, I fall asleep in, like, ten seconds. I, I'm the type of person that does not need any kind of sleep aid. Like... Like, I... I get into bed, and if it's time to go to sleep, I fall asleep in... Seconds. Tops. Lonnie says, keep bragging? Yeah. Melatonin helps with deeper sleeps. 
Does that mean you're sleep deprived? No, it means, uh, you know, just, I just stop thinking, you know? When I lay in bed, I'm like, okay, it's time to stop thinking. And I stop thinking and I go to sleep and I wake up eight hours later. Cause like, I, I don't, I'm not, I'm definitely not sleep deprived. I, I always make sure to get at least eight hours of sleep every single day. Like when I, when, so I get motion sickness really, really easily. When I go onto an airplane, I just force myself asleep before the plane takes off and I wake up as the plane lands because of the, you know? Like, cause I, then I don't get motion sick. Even if I'm not tired, I'm like, okay, time to sleep. How do you force yourself to sleep? You just close your eyes and turn your brain off. You burp on command? I haven't done it in a while, but yeah. What about a long flight? I mean, oh, just sleep. Can you sleep right now? Yeah. No drugs involved? Nah. How do you turn your brain off? Just stop thinking about stuff. That feel when severe ADHD legitimately cannot turn it off? I don't know. I think that, that I don't know if that's an ADHD thing, because like I have ADHD and I don't have a problem with it. I don't know. May maybe it's just because like I, I usually do a lot during the day, so like by the time I'm at the end of the day, I'm like, alright, it's time, I'm satisfied. Maybe different types, yeah. I'm, I'm definitely like, yeah. Could it be an anxiety thing? Yeah, it could. Trailer's uncomfy? It's awful, yeah. Mental illness takes different forms than people, yeah. I keep forgetting to use a raffle. 75% of people with ADHD also have delayed sleep phase disorder. Hey, there you go. Can you sleep right now then? Probably. Did I win? Did I, I win? I won? Yeah? Sweet. Okay. Uh. Du, 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 du. Alright, 23. That should be enough. for cash right now chat classic coleslaw alamuta sazenzi thanks for the subs i appreciate that <laughs> cheese quack thanks for the four energy root all right why well, you bully the reporters i'm not bullying them they're always willing to my latest video was very cool i agree it was very cool I'm just going to spend the rest on Revive Orbs. How many pills is the optimal amount? Depends on how big the bed is. Uh, revival Herb 14. Let's hope 14 is enough. Alright. It's time. Attempt 1. Check out the poll. 10 to 30. 6... 20% of you takes over an hour? You just lay in bed? At that point, why don't you just stay up until you just pass out? Because, like, you're just wasting time at that point.
At least you can be somewhat productive. Because there's work the next day. I mean, you're going to be awake anyways. You might as well do something. <laughs> Alright, the strategy for Sydney. Um... Actually, you know what? You know what? I, I have one, one thing I want to do first. I think Sun may be able to do a lot of damage in the Sun. So, I'm gonna buy a few X specials just to see if I can give him like 1x speed, 1x special, and then sweep Sydney. Cause that- that might be- that might be a thing. Right? There is no pass out, that's the problem. Staying up just procrastinates the 60 minutes of laying there. So, you're saying you... Wait, 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 whoa, 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 so... <sighs> Have you ever been, like, s doing something? Like, I don't know, maybe playing a game or watching a TV show or something, and you just get so tired that you just happen to fall asleep? Has that- has that ever happened? Never. No. You've- <laughs> No? What? Ha <laughs> That is so weird. Like literally, I think we like I have a couch and f it's a coin flip whether if I sit on the couch, it's a coin flip whether I fall asleep in like 10 minutes or not. After just sitting on it on the couch, like I'm not even doing anything. <laughs> Must be a good couch. It's good, yeah. Same with the Snorlax. POV. You have narcolepsy. I just. Uh, have you ever done a sleep study? Not really. Turns out my sleep is like terrible quality. Oh yeah, we're doing the prediction thing now. Heads a heads up. Uh, let's hope this dude doesn't use any um, double teams. Ba, 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 ba. All right. Mighty Anna. So here is the plan. I'm going to use... Um... One X speed. As long as he doesn't spam sand attack, we'll be fine. I kind of hope he uses swagger, honestly. I'm going to use one more X speed. Oh, son of a... Really? Okay, well, we're gonna switch into Crit Proof then, if he's just gonna spam Sand Attack. Because Crit Proof has Aerial Ace. Uh, we're gonna probably need 2x speed to outspeed here. Crunch is busted, bro! It just does more and more every turn! Because Crunch is special! Okay, Ad Sign's got a brick break then. Ad Sign's got a brick break. It's a special move, chill out. What do you mean, chill out? That's the worst case scenario! 
It means it's gonna do more every single time. Just attack. I can't attack. It's sand attack to me. I, you'll never hit. Did I not teach Adside another move? That is so funny. Am I dead? Yep, but it's dead too. Nope. Three moves is all I need, yeah. Blobby Beluga. Thanks for the two months. Okay, screw it. We're just gonna Earthquake. We're just gonna Earthquake. Just go for it. That would have been the perfect time to do X attack, actually. Why didn't Adzan get infected by Intimidate? It's only when it comes in. Yep. Yeah, X attack would have been better there. That suck. Alright, flamethrower. Good son, good. Sharpedo, will I change Pokemon? It's gonna outspeed. Oh. Uh oh. Sharpedo is... Ooh. Hmm. Okay, that's the best it can do. Doesn't have a water move? Huh. Solar beam? Yeah, I could have solar beamed. Didn't matter. But he's Mighty Anna. We just gotta freaking destroy this Mighty Anna. I'm just gonna hit it with the flamethrower in case it switches out. Also, our tag is lowered anyways. That one hit KO'd? Yeah. I... That was... That was supposed to be a flamethrower, but it's fine, I guess. The shift tree, I'm a little bit scared of, but we could probably handle it still. That's a lot. We outspeed, so we should be able to take out this Absol just fine. Good. Oh, never mind it as a citrus berry. It may KO the rest of my team now. Yeah, unlucky crit. <laughs> Frick you. A revive son. Wait, revival herb doesn't full fully revive in this, does it? Yikes. Max Revive? Revival Herb in some gen. I think in Emerald it fully heals. Snatch? I think we win. Because... I'm... Yeah, I'm pretty sure we just win now. Darn low roll, yep. Cause like, as long as the shift tree doesn't use double team, we're fine.
As long as it doesn't use double team, we're fine. As long as it doesn't kill, we're fine. As long as we, if we're, if we... Extra sensory, fake out, double team. Is it faint attack? Does it have faint attack? Is that what it has? That's fine, chat. It used extra sensory against my... Huh. Is we can just aerial ace. Which is not an issue. Uh, extra sensory, that won't KO. We're crit pr oh no. Extra sensory can flinch? Oh. Oh, I didn't know extra sensory flinched. We hit ourselves now. That's gonna do a lot. Ooh. So if it swaggers, Shinja dies. The only attacking move it has is extra sensory. Mm. Uh, Shedinja could never hit shift because it double teamed once. Okay, if it double teams one more time, we're fine here. If it does anything else, we're screwed. It just has to double team because Swagger will uh, will hit ourselves. And extra sensory will flinch. Cutter is a misclick. If we use two X speeds, we might outspeed it, and then we can uh, outspeed the flinch. Because extra sensory is going to do it. So we can use two X speeds to potentially outspeed this. We'll need to heal off the confusion. And then it'll probably use uh, Swagger on the turn that it does. Okay, I think that's five double teams. So it could do one more. I hope he goes for one more. Alright. Uh... I think this confusion hit kills us because we're a plus four now. <sighs> Damn, impossible. Yeah, and it just confuses us again. Okay. Come on. 
We cannot survive another swagger, so we just have to use more of our X speeds. I'll do two more X speeds. I'm not sure why. It used swagger again. Is it out of extra sensories? That is so bad for us. If it only spams swagger, then we're always going to be confused. But we can just unconfuse ourselves, because we're confused every turn. So we can just stall with the flute. Because flute is infinite reuse. How much PP does uh, Swagger have? Because it's got to be close. Swagger is 15. Because, yeah, the flute is infinite. It's just using Swagger. It's supposed to be using extra sensory right now, I think. I don't know why it's not using extra sensory. I guess it's because it's the worst luck possible and it knows this is its best chance of winning. I feel like it didn't use all of its extra sensories. Maybe because I'm at plus six, it wants to confuse me and so it prioritizes that over everything else? I'm not sure. It always wants to confuse you because you're faster, but even when I'm already confused, why are you not attacking? If I attack, I'll just hit myself in confusion and die in one hit, bro. I don't know why it's not. Could you swap? I could, but then I'd lose the battle. The AI just knows. It just knows. <laughs> Maybe it knows you flew. The AI isn't that dynamic. <laughs> they use fake out. It must be out of power points. That is so weird. Yeah, it's just out of power points on extra sensory. We win. All right. Nice. What a fight. I don't know why it stopped using extra sensory, but I am not upset. Uh, we'll need to revive. We don't have- we didn't bring enough revives in, I think. And I still didn't outspeed it. Yeah, I'm not gonna revive Dawn. It's just not worth it. You think it was because of the X speeds that it started using it? Maybe. Maybe. I could use the rare candy as a revive in the future, yes. Okay, so Phoebe opens- let me check Phoebe's team. Is the first one the status one? Phoebe. Pokemon uh, RSE. Ah, oh, no! I didn't actually, I didn't mean to press A on Phoebe. I was tabbed out. Shit. Revive Groudon? Did I not revive Groudon? Ah! Um, okay, what do we do here? This is gonna Shadow Punch, Confuse Ray, Curse, or Future Sight. Use 2x speed, so I outspeed everything. Uh, 
I'm a little bit afraid that it's going to curse, so I'm actually going to use the X attack. Because we have more X attacks to throw away. Ah, damn it, Eve's curse. Okay, after it uses this. Send in Water Boy. We can take one physical attack. Not if it's a crit, though. Okay, at sign. It will just die if it uses Curse, right? Can I just X attack and then Earthquake the rest of this? I'm gonna check at sign stats really quick. Its special attack is higher. Okay, we're gonna use X special, I think. Oh, Groudon would be so good here. Yeah, that's fine. We can heal off a of Confuse Ray. We should outspeed the whole team, so if we just, like, use two X specials and then Yellow Flute. I think we can survive this. If, if only we had the sun up. Can you use Future Sight again? Weird, but whatever. Flamethrower. Future Sight will do a lot. But I think Flamethrower is going to do a really good amount of damage here. Sableye. This is Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire, what the fuck? God, I hate that website. Okay, it cannot critical hit, so that's good. Please, one shot. Oh! Oh! Gonna, wait, gonna heal, so I should go for the X attack. Okay. If the sun was up, that would have killed. Man. When it revive Groudon, we have very limited revives. Yeah, I'm just try. I'm gonna try an earthquake. It's fine, okay? It's fine. We have a flute for this. We have a... F I thought of this. We have the flute. That's gonna do nothing. My defense is insane. Okay, okay, we got it. We gotta use the. I'm so. I, we gotta. Uh. I gotta revive Sun. I'm sorry, Crip Proof. You done, kid. Mm. So, what happens if I just spam Earthquake for the rest of this? Use a flag. This is the two months. Uh, you know, with this one, we could do we could do a flamethrower with this one. We don't want to waste too much PP. Is bug neutral the dragon? Random question. Why isn't he getting crit if it's the worst possible look? Did you not look at the Pokemon's name, bro? It's literally called Crit Proof.
Maybe this one... Ice Beam the first turn! <laughs> well, we white it out. Okay. I'm not gonna be an idiot this time, alright? Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna we're gonna start with crit proof and we're just gonna spam area lace against this this guy. No sun, no nothing. Yeah. Yeah, Phoebe was like, wait, I thought ice was super effective against bug. Phoebe is Twitch chat today. Why are you so low leveled? I don't know what you're talking about. My Pokemon are the perfect level. Oh, damn it. Intimidate. Uh... Alright. Sand Attack, Dawn, or whatever. Should I tell him to move to Blaze again? I could have. Yeah, stupid. Prevents accuracy loss, dummy. What an idiot. Alright, now swagger me. I want to get swaggered. Oops. I did not survive a crunch there. You know what? No, I'm, I'm, we gotta redo that. We gotta we gotta try this one more time. Uh, reset. All right, all right. We gotta. We're do, well, just one one more try. One more try. Just gonna. Okay, Let, let's try this. Um, hmm. At sign fourth move. What do I give it? Skill swap? Bulk up? Not worth it. I don't. Ad sign doesn't need a fourth move. It, it's like, what's gonna what's gonna happen, right? It's gonna have what? Freaking flamethrower thing. What else? What does it need? Huh? Y you should. You could give ad sign protect. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I could give it protect. Of course. Uh. Bulk up. It's just a waste of a move slot. Bulk up does the same exact attack. Bulk up would be nice and crit proof. If only it could learn it. Can you learn Aerial Ace? It's too late. You can protect Scout. Bulk up does defense too. Protect never works because it has a one in sixty-five for one in sixty-five thousand chance to fail. Protect always fails. It does nothing. 
bulk up only raises attack because the defense boost doesn't matter because you get crit every turn. So you might as well just use an X attack instead and save the move slot for something else. There we go. Earthquake? We can't get Earthquake. We already taught it to, uh, Crip Roof. Bulk up matters for Crip Roof. It would, if it could learn it. Quick attack? I mean, like, I guess? Ah, screw it. Let's just try one more time. Save the move plot for something else. It's gonna learn, uh, Blast Burn while we're going through here. Just, just be patient. We will do it. Adster. Thanks to the 35. Alright, whatever. Freaking intimidate me. I don't care. Brick Break. How much it do? That's half. Perfect. Takedown. Excellent. That won't KO me. Good. Got to use Shift Tree. Will we switch? Yes, we will shift on Shift Tree now. Because it's just going to swagger me an extra sensory, which is fine. So we'll be able to set up uh, 3x speeds. Do you have level caps on? No, but I'm just not going to over level. Yeah, that's fine. It's fine if it double teams. We're going to set up 3x speeds. Uh, I'm going to hope it swaggers me at some point. Three X speeds should outspeed the whole team. It has not swaggered me yet. Exalted, three, three, three. Thanks for sticking around for so long. That's a crazy amount of time. Dang. Two. Is he gonna like ever give me the swagger boost, bro? I'm just trying to get a swag. I'm out here trying to get swaggered. There we go. Okay. That saves me from using some other moves. So now it's going to extra sensory, which 100% of the time flinches, but I should outspeed because it's not in the sun. So my yellow flute will snap out of confusion, which is just a free plus two. He double teams again. We should one shot without getting hit here. All right. We use Aerial Ace, we outspeed the Shift Tree, which is the fastest thing on the team. And uh, I think Aerial Ace should sweep the rest of the team. If it doesn't, we can always just uh, Earthquake and other things. We use Sharpedo. I don't think I'm going to Aerial Ace this, because it has Rough Skin, so we will Earthquake this one. Earthquake should KO it. Yes, good. This is going much better. I use Cacturn. Um, Aerial Ace. Excellent. Does that ever work on set mode? Probably, it should be harder. Absol, Earthquake, Snatch, whatever. Okay, so... Here is what we're probably going to have to do for Phoebe. Phoebe has a bunch of moves that lower my stats. We're going to have to set up a safeguard for that because we defeated him. Defeated Sydney. No problem. A Phoebe is really hard to set up on because she has so many status moves. But if we can force out... If we could force out a Pokemon on the first turn... We could be okay. So here's my idea. Um, I think Phoebe's first Pokemon... I don't know if it has a, a Ghost-type move. 
so we might be able to force out a new Pokemon. Because she doesn't see a... It, it, it may, but it might not. I think I think she may switch. It has Curse, Future Sight, Confuse Ray. It might have Shadow Punch, actually. Shit, it might have been a waste here. Uh, we'll send out Dawn to accept a potential Curse. Okay, no, I just Shadow Punch. That's fine. Yeah, I really... I could curse here. I don't think it's going to Shadow Punch. It's probably going to Confuse Ray or something. So we're going to switch out to Sun. Probably confused, Ray. Oh, it's Shadow Punched again. Really? Jesus, that does a lot. Um, okay, I'm gonna use an X Special. And we're just gonna try and sweep with Flamethrower then. One X Special plus the Sun plus Flamethrower with its stats. I think it's pretty fast. Might okay. Oh my god, that's not even close. It's Dusk Lops just done. All right. Do we get to switch before it deals damage to me? Ha <laughs> ha. Okay, they're sending out another Dusk Lops, which has all the coverage moves. Um. It has like all the punches. So I think at sign maybe comes out and uses flamethrower a few times. As long as it never uses thunder punch. Because I don't think ice punch cannot freeze us in the sun. So I think in the sun we can just spam flamethrower. I think this one has like a bunch of coverage moves. Oh, it has earthquake. We need to take a future sight, I believe, on this turn. So I'm just gonna switch in Water Boy to take it. Never mind. Oh, there it is. There's a future sight. Might as well surf. Get at least some damage. That'll KO though. I think we're gonna send in Sun and uh, is that a Citrus Berry? Okay. It's just gonna use Ice Beam. Let's hope I can survive one Ice Beam. Depending in case it's Earthquake. Or I guess Shadow Ball. That lowers special defense. Oh, now it's gonna use Thunderbolt and it's gonna. Thunderbolt! It doesn't have Thunderbolt, we're fine. We just X speed once. We'll outspeed everything now. So we're in the sun, so that can't freeze. I 
I lied. Good luck, dude. Thank you, Richard. Okay, we know it's gonna do the exact same amount every turn because it always gets a max roll. Uh, we have a lot of energy roots. Yeah, we can take. If only we use the uh, the the guard spec on the first turn. Guard spec's probably about to run out too. You can't get frozen in the sun. That's correct. Okay, probably one more X attack and we'll be able to sweep. This is 48 damage. Yeah, this 48. My mist wore off, so let's hope it doesn't use shadow ball. I don't think it'll ever use shadow ball anymore though. Because uh, it knows uh, the Ice Beam will do more. Trumpet Player, thanks for the Tier 1 and Blaster Tom, thanks for the Prime. Yeah, we always live that. Okay, I'm going to heal up and then I'm going to try and... Uh, oh, this is so tough because we don't have... Um, any... Uh, we don't have any Ethers. Max, I guess we have a few. We don't have any elixirs. Sweep every battle with our mall, though. The thing... You can't, because, uh... A water boost. Yeah, that's not gonna do a lot, because we set up a defense boost. Because, uh, water special moves will sweep us. We're gonna have to, uh, probably use Groudon to do that set. Okay, let's hope Earthquake... I forgot he was confused. This might KO me, because I have so many attack boosts. Oh, I'm such an idiot. I forgot about the confusion. Oh, it's just waste an extra turn, basically. It's, just, it's fine. <sighs> yeah, we do have a few Lepa Berries that I've been saving up. Ice Beam is almost out of power points, so if it starts eating Shadow Ball, we're screwed, because it's going to realize that Shadow Ball just gets stronger and stronger. There's nothing we can really do to stop it at this point. Um, okay. We're gonna get Yellow Flute. Good. Shadow Ball is physical, yeah, but it lowers special defense, which means that it'll graduate. Oh, yeah, I guess at that point it's run out. It'll, it'll not matter. Whatever. Okay, good. That KOs, and I don't think any of the other Pokemon have good, uh, good stuff. So we should be fine here. Because it's like two Bayonets and then a Sableye, so we should just be able to sweep with Earthquake now. When you get frozen, it's the sun. That's why we have Groudon. Yeah, we outspeed because we use the X, X speed. And we just barely make it through Phoebe. Woo! Sun lasts forever because of the drought, yeah. Unfortunately, we have pressure. So, we don't have many earthquakes left. But, I think it'll be okay. This should KO. Yes! Alright, we got through Phoebe. It's guaranteed that we made it through VB because it's we, we outsped the other bayonet. <sighs> Good. Phoebe's down. Now I need to figure out how to defeat Glacia. How do you do with Glacia's moves always freezing? Did you not watch this battle with Ice Beam? Okay, opens up with a Celio. Um. We're gonna have to revive a bunch of Pokemon now. Only have 14 left. We're gonna revive Sun and at sign. <sighs> I 
So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna open with at sign. I think we're gonna open with at sign. Which means they'll never use a water move. Or they'll want to use a water move if they attack. They'll always use hail on the first turn, right? Like, I think they're guaranteed to use hail the first turn. So what we're going to do is we'll probably brick break the Celio first turn. It uses hail. We'll probably switch into Groudon to set up the sun. And I think that might be enough for them to use a healing item. And then with the sun up, we might be able to set up X specials to be able to sweep with flamethrower and solar beam. Hail does Oko shit injure, yes. Chloe Sawa, thanks for the three months. And tree spawned. I lost. Bless her, Tom. Oh, wait, it's a Glalie. Huh. Well, uh, I believe. Oh! Who said she opens up with a hail? Excuse me, chat? Definitely does not look like hail to me. What does that sign only know three moves? That's all that at sign needs. Okay, she's 100% gonna heal, so we'll get rid of the hail. Uh, might set up a screen here, I don't know. Hopefully not hail again. If it sets up hail again, then I'm just gonna try and yeah, uh, we need the solar beam. Well, yeah, solar beam will always do more as long as it's super effective. Okay, we're gonna use one X speed. Damn it! Really? Hail again? Really? Well, now we're frozen, because it's not in the sun. Okay, let's get sun out. That's just gonna ice beam, or it could light screen. Hail lasts like five turns. It's a, a crit super effective, so it just one shots one shots sun. Sunlight is strong, so we can't get frozen here. We have to use an X speed and then hope ancient power KOs. It still outspeeds us. Does Ice Beam have 10 PP? 10 PP. How many Ice Beams was that? Is that the third one? Four. Does 89, 53, that's 11, 64. Alright, one turn, I go down to 80. So, I can survive another attack. And hail. 
Which means we set up another X speed. We won't die to this. Good. Now we'll heal that off. Then we'll start setting up X attacks so we can hit it with the ancient power. Oh, fuck. It's gonna set up hail again. It has crunch. I didn't think it would ever use Crunch, because Ice Beam does more! Blaze Kick Thaws from Freeze. Yeah, I bet. How much damage does it do, though? That's the question. I... Exactly. Blaze Click does zero damage. Oh my god. Do I have any full restores? Nope. I do not. How to unfreeze? You have to use an item. You can never. Yeah, we're just dead unless it uses hail this turn. Okay, so we'll send out Shedinja. It has crunch. The only way we win this is if we revival her dawn or sun. Uh Did it just try and ice beam that? Okay. Come on, use crunch. Okay, I should enjoy already. There you go. Okay. We have to hope that flamethrower one shots, I guess. AI does not signal wonder signal wonder guard until it has it fails one attack. Okay. Yeah, we, I, we just have to flamethrower. That's so bad. Okay. Because it's not going to KO anymore, I think, right? Oh, it does a half! Oh my god! This is brutal! I didn't think they'd spam hail like that. Yeah, just hail spam is awful, man. One down. Maybe water boy would have been better to go there. If 
We could set up with crit proof at the start by using a guard spec. There's a chance. Like guard spec, X speed, X speed, and then some other stuff might work. Celio, uh, I think can KO Shedinja, yeah. With, uh, with hail. Okay, we're gonna try a solar beam on the Celio and just see if it works. Because we had drought, it will probably use a hail this turn. Maybe? Yeah, we just hit a solar beam immediately. KOs, Earthquake might. Another Celio. Sun comes out, it will be forced to use a hail again. If this if the weather is anything other than nothing normal, it always uses hail. Right? So it will use hail this turn. It did, it did not use hail this turn. Uh, all right. All right, all right, all right. I have one idea. Uh. <laughs> one idea that might help. No way to get goggles on Shedinja? Yeah, it does not exist. Okay. All right. Moves that thaw out the user. Burn up flame wheel flare bits fuse and flare. Okay. If we uh, maybe 
C can Blaze can learn Flame Wheel? Blaze Kick, which is 90 accuracy. No, it does not thaw you out. Okay, let's think about this. We know the Glalie is at least faster than Groudon, which is 91 speed. I think the Glalie is like insanely fast. If we can get set up with Brick Breaks, we may be able to win. Cause like, what what we could do, right? <sighs> we might have to go in Poisoned maybe? We could go in with Blaziken Poisoned. But then we're dealing with Poison and Hail. But uh, here, here's the idea, right? We go in with Blaziken. Uh, we give it, uh, you know, X attack, X attack, X attack. Because the first turn it uses Light Screen, the second turn it uses Hail, the third turn it hits us with Ice Beam. We have an S Beer Berry to thaw us out. Get lucky with the Quick Claw. Get lucky? What's, what's that? <sighs> Maybe we should raise up two other Pokemon. What what other two Pokemon would be cool to have? If we, if we were to pick two more that we could catch. I'm trying to think. Ice types are immune to freeze. Doo -doo. Rayquaza. I literally can't catch a Rayquaza. Mike goes really quiet. There's nothing I can do about that. I there's nothing I can do. No guard Machoke. No guard is not an ability that exists. Can you catch a Sfeel? I don't know how a Sfeel would help because like they're just gonna destroy me with their own Sfeels, right? With like crunches. Gyarados could work, actually. Yeah. Cacturn? You mean a grass type? For the ice type Elite Four member? Any attack with a secondary effect will cause it? Yeah. I'm not using Wobbuffet. That's too easy. You, literally, you just item spam with Wobbuffet and you win every battle. Yo, T567Y, what's up? Camerupt or Macargo? So the problem is, it's also a water type person. And so there's nothing we could do there. Yeah, maybe like a Belly Drum Linoon. Tentacruel with Toxic, it'll, it'll miss. Chlorophyll? We can't do Chlorophyll because... Unless the shift resets it up himself, but then they'll just attack it and kill it. Encore lasts for like two turns in this gen. Encore could be okay. Can you paralyze it to outspeed? No, I'd have to have specifically Thunder Wave for that. Maybe Linoon with the strength with Belly Drum could work. 
Someone with Thunderbolt? You'd have to gamble for Thunderbolt, though? Why would I have to gamble for Thunderbolt? Just, just a question. Why am I gambling for Thunderbolt? What do you mean by that? To paralyze? I, I can't paralyze. You're you're not you're not gambling anything. You you never paralyze. Would X accuracy help? Yeah. Any move that has I think ninety percent accuracy, one X accuracy makes it hit. I mean the game corner. Oh yeah. Also, you always lose that. Gold Duck with Cloud Nine or Taunt. Taunt isn't good. This is. <sighs> we. I think we'll just try the Blaze against Strat. Let's level up our Pokemon a little bit more, and then uh, try Blaze against Strat. Cause yeah, if we if we get an S Spear Berry, which I think we actually already have an S Spear Berry. Where do you get an S Spear Berry? Level up the Blaziken at the daycare. It's quicker. I know I haven't done that, but I think everyone doesn't want to watch me grind on wild Pokemon for like three hours. So I'll probably just use daycare. <laughs> oh yeah, it's not speed. Yeah, never mind. Routes 120. Okay. Did you already use flamethrower TM? We've used two, yeah. I really? It doesn't tell you the route numbers if you open up fly. You're gonna lose moves if you do the daycare. Not if you're careful. 120. Okay, this route. Da, 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 da. Echo, thanks for the tier one. <sighs> Airlock Rayquaza. I need to stop reading these. The flower shop as well. Okay. I do not know where, but we will find it. You need cut for the S beer berries? Really? Okay. Alright, water boy. Yeah. Which move should be forgotten? Obviously the only non-HM. Cast Worm is probably the best Pokemon you can get for Glacia. Said no one ever. Da, da. What the heck? There's a Kecleon back there. Sunny Day on Blaziken. Where do you get Sunny Day? Yeah, we can't even catch them. You say beans? Beans. Oh, I don't have any repels. Dang it, though. Okay, you know what we're gonna do? We're just gonna do the Aspear Berry strat. And then I think with, um... The next two battles, I think Glacia is gonna be the hardest battle, because... Hear me out, right? We have to fight, um... Uh, the, the guy after, he just spams protect until you hit him, I'm fairly sure. I'm fairly sure the dude just spams protect. Uh, Drake, Dr whatever, whatever his name is. Drake, yeah. Drake Shogun spams protect until you hit him, which allows you to just get set up as much as you want, I think. Um, 
so... Right on, wish all armor fishing rods don't work. So yeah, we should be able to set up with crit proof um, against the Sheldon. Because it's just not going to deal any damage to us. And then, uh... We should be able to H at power. Sweep. Or, um... Oh, the fly guns, though. Because rock isn't very effective against ground. And fly guns have levitate. I guess we could... We could Fury Cutter. Right? Because the only thing that would resist it is Salamence. Day on a scorched slab on Route 120. Yeah. Does Fury Cutter have low accuracy? We have X accuracies. Can Fury Cutter hit with an X accuracy? It can, yeah. Alright. We grabbed our spear berries. Watch out for Rock Tomb. Uh, we'll just use the guard spec. Okay, so how did we do this last time? Yeah, yeah, yeah. alright, let's try this. I think we can win with what we have here. I'm pretty sure we could do it. I think we can beat... We, we have a, a method to beat Sydney, and with... Um, the next battle, we can do it. Like, once we figure out a strategy that works, it will literally work every time. Because the luck is always the same. So we just need to figure out a consistent strategy for each one, and then it'll work every time. So, here's the strategy. We take out the Mighty Anna first, and then they'll send out Shiftry, and then uh, our other Pokemon can handle Shiftry. So, I'm just going to start with this. We'll hit him with the Flamethrower. Um... It will probably sand attack me, which is fine. Or crunch. That's actually even better, I think. Yeah, that's fine. My special defense fell. No problem. The move they use is still random? No, it's not, not always random. No, it's not always random because, uh... You know, you, you can... I believe that this will work. Sharpedo. Oh, Sharpedo. Okay, as long as it doesn't outspeed, we're fine. We can just Solar Beam it. Solar Beam is a lot of power points. We're in the sun. Ah. I didn't think... Why did he send out Sharpedo this time instead of Shiftry? Was I using Blaziken? Aqua Jet doesn't exist. Bro, we're in... Wait. Does a crit get rid of the sun debuff? Wait, what? Okay, we gotta try this again. We're gonna figure out a consistent strat. I mean, it is stab plus crit, but it doesn't know it's gonna crit. Okay. Let's try with that side. Get a lantern. No, 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 no. I, I think we can win with what we have. It's gonna, it's gonna require some strategy, but we can do it. It's stat 4 effective? It is not 4x effective. Making stuff up at this point. 
Don't get crits grow through stat changes. I thought the sun uh, affects your crits, but maybe not. The glacial AI you sheer cold. By the time we get to glacial AI, it won't matter. Alright, I'm just gonna brick break. I know we got the debuff, the attack drop, but we might be able to be at least happier. Yep. Use his takedown. Okay, this is good. Perfect. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because he uses takedown every time. So yeah, so now once Shift Tree comes out, we send in Crit Proof. We'll use 1x speed and then, uh, I think it was, was it 3x attacks? I think it was 3x attacks. Because it's just going to use double team. Was that correct? Was it, was it 2x speed last time? To outspeed the Sharpedo, I guess? Yeah, we did get swaggered once. Uh, so we did 3x attacks, and then we got swaggered. So we were at plus 5. <laughs> 2... Was it actually 3x beats? Let's try 2x speeds. Uh, it hasn't used Swagger yet, though, so I'll use another x speed. Why not? Alright, we use three of each. And there's extra sensory. Alright, let's hope three is enough. I think three will be enough. Because that, uh. What does that do to your attack? It's, uh, 2.5x, your attack. Yeah, we'll see. Time to find out. We do outspeed. Sharpedo's defense is horrendous. Nice, okay. We don't, not, we don't need to get swaggered, so it's 3 and 3. Good. Yeah, because we can just area lace. Alright. A tiny hoe, thanks for the prime. Da -da. Battle items are very good, yes. I don't know if this would be possible without battle items. It, it, like, it might be, but you'd have to strategize the hell. Like, an insane amount. All right. Okay, so that's the strat for Sydney. Open up with Blaziken, Brick Brick twice, and then it'll send in Shiftry. Then we use Crit Proof, where we'll set up three X, uh, X speeds, three X attacks, and then we're through. Yeah, maybe a crazy amount of grinding. I mean, if you're not over leveling. All right, no deaths. We figured out a strat for that. Now the next one. Uh, I think the next one we just need to KO uh, the first one as quickly as possible. Yeah. We pretty much just always need 2x speed should be enough. We'll try 2x speed just to save some time if we fail again. So now Phoebe, uh, we need to kill the first Dusclops as quickly as possible. And then with the second Dusclops, we should be able to set up with Crit Proof again. Uh, as long as we are very careful. But yeah, I'm just gonna shoot out a, a flamethrower here. And, uh, hope it kills itself with curse. That's the idea. Confuse Ray. Um. It will most likely curse next turn then. So let's send in a disposable Pokemon. That can take a curse. Will there be a voiceover video? I only do the uh, the voiceover videos if they're too hard to ex if the the stream themselves don't explain it very well. Like uh, if if it's hard to understand just from okay, I 
should KO me. <laughs> At least there's no Dusk Maria. What will the next video be? I don't know. There isn't a... I don't think there's... Is there anything in the backlog now? There might not be anything left in the backlog. Might be like one Super Mario Odyssey video. <laughs> okay. So Shadow Punch. That's fine. Uh, we're gonna hope that it curses itself to kill it. That, that's that's the ideal si situation here. Mario, but big and dangerous. I think Mario, but he goes faster every turn. Okay, I'm just gonna use the yellow flute here. I think. Does an earthquake do more? I need to save uh, earthquake PP. I think. It might do more. Hard to say. I'm pretty sure Dusclops physical defense is way higher. Um, I'll try it. You know, let's find out. Does it do just under half or over half? Does over half. Okay, Earthquake is the way to go for this one. You're right. I should Earthquake and then Flamethrower. Or Flamethrower, then Earthquake. I used Future Sight. Um, hmm. The first Cobalt. Thanks for the Prime. Marvel, thanks for the three months as well. Okay, Crit Proof is up again. Okay, about to use the other Dusclops. So here's the play here. We switch in Crit Proof. Um... It's going to go for either Shadow Ball or Ice Beam or Earthquake, but it literally... I don't think it matters too much. We need to open up first thing. They're the same? I did not know that. Open up with a Guard Spec uh, so Shadow Ball doesn't lower my special defense. Still does a lot. And then we're going to use uh, an, probably 2x defense. How much is that doing? Okay, I think 1x defend is still fine. It'll use Shadow Ball. It, it'll do 50% less. Uh, Ice Beam might do more now, so I'm going to heal. I can't remember. I think Ice Beam might deal exactly 42. I can't remember, though. This is very tricky. Yeah, use Ice Beam. Okay. Is that 32? Oh, it does 32. Okay. So now we're going to use a... Do we use 1x speed or 2x speeds last time? I think it was just 1. Might have been 2. But yeah, because it's sunny, uh, we cannot get frozen. Uh, let's set up... Only 1. Was it 1x speed and then s how many x attacks? I can't remember how many X attacks. Okay, the mist wore off. Uh, I know Ice Beam can only deal 32 damage. I can't remember how many X attacks. Uh, Sableye has Fake Out. I'm not sure. <sighs> We're we'll <laughs> we're gonna have to heal here no matter what. I think I'm going to use three just in case, because I, I, we can afford to use three, for sure. This is when I gave yours. Let's go. Nice. Uh, yeah, we'll use one more X attack just to be careful. All right. Yeah, this is good. Uh, ancient power. We should have just enough power points. Uh, whatever. I think that I think we're still fine here. Um, let's hope that's not enough to heal because I need more power. I need enough power points to KO everything. Um, 
Everything else is really low defense because they're ghost types. They're fraggle little things. So I think Earthquake should one hit KO everything else. No matter what comes out, we should be able to outspeed it. You guys said 1x speed was enough. So as long as you guys were telling the truth, we should be fine here. Yep. Cool. Three hours of Elite Four. It's been uh, two and a half-ish. Sweet. Okay. Now let's check the Sableye. I'm not going to change Pokemon. Is Drought the reason you went with Ruby over Sapphire? Uh, I thought Kyogre was actually better. Okay, Earthquake this, and we have just enough Earthquakes, because I'm pretty sure this doesn't have pressure. This is like Keen Eye or something. Good. Okay. The mod can distinguish who used weather. It, it doesn't matter. What do you mean? I don't think that matters. Uh, Psychic is strong against none of them, but uh, Ghost, Bug, and Dark are super effective against Psychic. Yeah, Rain Boosted Surf is really good with Kyogre. Plus, the Thunder is actually insane. 100% Thunder. And it, you know, it just, it just lines up better. Its stats line up better with what it needs to do. Is it permanent? Yeah, so uh, ability effects last forever in this gen. Alright, so that was good. Um, that fight went well. We sacrificed Dawn, and honestly, let's heal Dawn up. One death, and everything went well. So the next strategy we're going to use... But yeah, whether it's a field effect, it affects everyone, exactly. The next route we're going to use, uh, we need to give an Aspear Berry to at sign. And we're going to hope that at sign can sweep through the entire team uh, of Glacia. This is going to be a bit of an experiment. We'll have basically three turns. So the way this is going to work is uh, she is going to use... Uh, her Glalie is going to use Light Screen, and then it hopefully is going to use Hail, and then it's going to use Ice Beam. The Ice Beam will hit me, it will freeze me, but I have the Aspear Berry, which will heal me. Hopefully, we'll be able to survive long enough to do... This is basically an experiment to see if this strategy works. Heal Pelipper, it's dead in one hit no matter what anyways. So, uh, yeah. We're gonna basically... Uh, wait, what is the speed of Glalie? Let's just, uh... What can Glalie be right now? Uh, the advanced games. Glalie. What level is it? 50? Um, I don't know what its speed would be is the thing. It's base A everything. Yeah, but what is its speed if it's level 50? What are IVs of, of Pokemon trainers? Is it just random? If it's random, then it's maxed. I can't remember how the IVs of Pokemon trainers work. They're always zero. So the thing is, if it is random, aren't IVs always 31 and EVs always 0? The champion is 30, and it's, if, yeah, I don't know if we're faster or not. If we have to be faster than this Glalie for this strat to work. But whatever. Let's just start by using X attack and assume we outspeed. We're going to hope it uses light screen first turn. Uh, that's not great. Okay. Forgot to save before. We can't save in the Elite Four. We have to do the whole thing in one go. Okay, there's the light screen. We're going to find out if we outspeed now. Let's 
go for one more X attack. That's three. Ice Beam. This is going to crit, but it's not very effective. We get frozen. And our Aspear Berry brings us out of it. We get hit with Hail, though. How much does Hail do? Eight. Okay. And Glalie speed. Okay. So we have to use the next speed in there as well. We can still win this. Alright, we can still win this for sure. It's just gonna be annoying. Hail continues to fall. So here's the play, alright? We use guard spec. If Gla Glalie sp outspeeds me, which means its Ivy is probably 31, which means its speed is basically 100. To get faster than 100 bits, uh, its speed stat, um, we need to double our speed, which is 2x speeds to start. Um, that dealt... Full, okay. Uh, we'll use one of these. We'll use Hail again. The light screen wore off, it might. The Glalie has 110 base speed. I don't think that's possible. Its max speed can be 100. Can you level that sign up a bit? Maybe, yeah. Uh, I think we have to heal right now, because an ice beam plus uh, hail damage would kill me. Yeah, it's only with a good nature, yeah. So we'll get, get brought down to 80, which means it deals 73 damage every turn with the hail. Okay, we need to use one more X speed then. Right? Or have we used... How many X speeds have I used? No X special defense? X special defense doesn't exist. I've used one. Okay, I trust you. So yeah, Ice Beam will have seven HP after the hail. So we can energy root this. Glacius first Glalie is a plus speed nature, so it's 110. Alright. Mist war off. Okay. So we will need to use another protection thing so we don't get our stats fallen. We cannot let our stats fall. So we're gonna need to use another guard spec to survive this. Uh, we will need to heal again. Why no X special? It... Because I have a brain. Alright, the halo is gonna end soon. It hasn't used another light screen. But yeah, now we're going to need to X attack. Enough to one hit KO everything. Uh, so I think I'm going to use... I can't use too many because we need to save them for the final fight. Uh. Which is annoying. I didn't get enough X attacks. If I get... It's super effective. Probably three X attacks will work. So we'll start with... We'll try that. Mm hmm. Ice Beam hits again. We have healing items. We can survive. Does Walrein have a high defense stat? What's his defense stat like? Need more than six attacks for the final fight? Well, there's two more fights after this. How many have I used so far? Two? I'm 
just gonna check because someone's giving me a number. Warrain. Warrain has a higher defense and higher HP than Glalie. Oh, that's bad. Okay. I've used two? Okay. That sucks that its defense is so high. It has really decent stats except for its speed. Okay. I need to check something. So, my attack is 158. If I've doubled it, it's at 316. We're using a super effective stab ancient power. I think that's enough. So, I'm, I'm gonna... Do any of them have priority? I don't think any of them have priority. Oh, but I'll need to heal after this. Oh. Yeah. It's probably almost out of Ice Beam. We need to wait for it to be out of Ice Beam. Because we'll need to uh, heal off the uh, the freeze, because we'll be frozen until the end of time. It, we cannot escape freeze without an item. Okay, good. The hail stopped. This would be ideal. If it uses... If it... Okay. Okay. I think we're in the perfect situation where Ancient Power should KO everything, and we should outspeed everything now. Good. That's a good start. Celio comes out. Uh, we should one-hit KO Celio because it should have worse defensive stats, I think. I can't imagine Celio survives this. If it does, I... yeah. The only thing, like, we might have an issue with the, um, the wall rain, but we should outspeed it, and I should be able to handle it with one of my Pokemon. Like, if, if the wall rain just happens to survive, we can probably just figure something out to kill it. Because we have a, a good amount of items now. Wall rain. Here is the scary part. Yeah, we need to be able to KO this wall rain in one hit. With the same level, sheer cold can hit. We have to KO with this ancient power, or else I don't know what we're gonna do. Yes. Okay. All right. Two X attacks and two X speeds was enough. We can remember that in case we need to come back here. Lately, we know we one-shot Glalie as long as it's level 50 again. It's level 52, but, I mean, we already took out the... Oh my god, wait. That one's level 52. We, that one could have outsped us if it had a, a speed-boosting ability, but it did not. So we defeated Glacia. Glacia's down. Advance to the next room, the fearsome side of the Pokemon League. Now, the next room scares me a little bit, but I think... As long as I'm not dumb, we win this. Let me just check, double check Drake's learn set. Drake... Pokemon Ruby. I swear to God, if you give me Omega Ruby off a of Sapphire. Alright, Pokemon Ruby. He has a Shell Gone with Protect, Rock Tomb, Crunch, and Dragon Claw. I believe, I believe he always goes for protect until you hit him. I think that's how it works. So what we should be able to do... Oh, 
this is so scary. It's set up on the shell gone. And then probably do ancient power spam again against Salamence and Altaria. The Flygon, we're going to have to use Fury Cutter. <clears throat> so where's our Lepa Berry? On Crit Proof. Uh, ancient Power, yes. <clears throat> All right, we're solving this puzzle one step at a time. Minimal items, which is good. <clears throat> so we have nine X attacks left. Uh, the plan, I think, is... Because of the Intimidate on Salamence, we're going to use four, I think. I think we're going to use four on Salamence. I'm just going to double check its stats. I think it has worse defensive stats than... Yeah, it has worse defensive stats than... Um... <clears throat> Salamence has worse defensive stats. Then Warrain. So it, I think two X attacks will be enough. But we need to Fury Cutter KO the uh, Flygons. <sighs> uh, we're going to probably open up with a guard spec just in case it goes for Rock Tomb, though. Just save before you take it on. No, we got to do it all in one go. I'm going to hope that he only uses protect, though. Alright, shell gone. We're going to start with the guard specs. So we can't get reduced. Why did it start with Dragon Claw? That's so annoying. It's supposed to start with Protect. Okay, well, whatever. Um, this is still fine. This is still fine. That it, it's weird that it started with... I don't have any <laughs> special defense, bro. Okay, that does 42, 49. Okay. We need to use 3x speeds. Okay, missed war off. Got to use it again. It's the last one we have. Could we use that? Okay, can only do 49 still. Uh, this is the second X speed. We'll leave it at 7 HP. We heal this. This is the third X speed, and then we need to use four X attacks. Why is it not using protect? X items are plus two. You're wrong. Stop giving me bad info. We need to use one X accuracy as well, so Fury Cutter has a chance can actually hit. Fury Cutter will never hit unless you use um that. The Mist War off. We may need to use more X speeds, depending on if it uses this. Um, damn it. It's using Rock Tomb. Okay. Back up to two bonuses. That's really bad. Did 
Down to one. Because our speed is dropping. Man, I should have bought more of those. Uh, Alright, we don't live. So we have to... I think Rock Tomb is what? 5, 10 PP? Dragon Claw is physical only in Gen 3. No, it's special. It's 15. Hmm. Okay. This is my... Third X attack. I'll need to use one more. There's four X attacks. We're down to zero speed now. Like zero speed boost. You forgot X Scissor. X Scissor doesn't exist yet, kiddo. At least if it does, you can't get it on crit proof. Oh my goodness. Okay. So now we need to get back up to our max speed stat. So that's one. That's zero. That's one. We can deal 49, so we got to heal. Except when he's an X item on Scizor. Alright. Double kick will always miss. No, it has 100% accuracy, dude. What are you talking about? Okay. 2x speeds. We need 3 to outspeed the, uh, the, the Salamence. One more. Missed up with Blaze Kick. There you go. Yes. You missed up with Blaze Kick. Okay, 10 HP. Yep. So we'll heal one more time, and then I think we're set up to attack now. So we need to start using Fury Cutter. Wait, does ground resist bug? Does ground resist bug? Bug resist ground. It was the other way around, right? Okay. So Fury Cutter, this will not... No shot. No shot, dude. I don't attack for 21 turns, and the turn that I go to attack, it uses protect? You've got to be kidding me. <laughs> One. Two. That is some BS, bro. Uh, uh. Three? I think that counts towards... Oh, it resets it. It has crunch? Oh, shit. Would this be the second Fury Cutter? I'm just a little bit scared because we might not be able to kill the, uh, the Flygon. We might not kill the Flygon with this. Uh, 
<laughs> I needed a full restore for this. It doesn't do half though, does it? Okay. Wait, how? It might not always use it. If it could use dig. That's better than Fury Cutter. And Aerial Ace. <laughs> okay. Okay, about to use Altaria. Um No, we won't switch because we can we can uh Um but stab though, yeah, a 15 base power move to 30. Uh, ancient power, yes. Good. Yeah. Uh huh. Did we? Did they throw? Okay, we need to use um, slash here. It knows flamethrower, dragon breath, crunch, and sand attack. If it, we, the ideal thing for it to do here is sand attack, because we have one X accuracy up. He heals this turn, so I think I'm safe to do this. Because my the burn will kill me on Salamence. Because I'm at full HP... Uh, it... Uh, the Sandstorm is gone, though. Yes! Uh, well... We should still hit because I used one X accuracy earlier. Yes. Now it needs to use Crunch. Um. This is fine. We have another X accuracy to cancel it out. Th that's okay, I guess. Aerial Ace. No, chat. No. We cannot Aerial Ace, because then we have no way to destroy the, the Salamence. Come on, chat. It needs to crunch us. Okay, how much... Okay, we're gonna have to use an X accuracy again. Heal on the stronger Salamence. Okay, Burn does 20 damage. And Flamethrower does what, 40? So we down to 100? No. There's 60 something. I don't know. We need to heal again. <clears throat> yes. We 
survive if we lava cookie, right? Okay, we're at minus one now. Um... We're at zero. It's fine. Bag. I need more healing items for for what's his face. Okay, now flamethrower. Crunch. Oh no. Oh, that's really bad. That is so bad. That is so bad. Um, it has to crunch again, or we lose. If it, if it crunches again, we have a chance to win. Salamence has Intimidate. It has Flamethrower, Crunch, Dragon Claw, and Fly, which is just Flygon, but stronger. Which is why we needed to not get burned. But we got our special defense drop, so it can just one-shot us with Flamethrower, so... The thing is, if we switch into Groudon, we give it Sun, which means Flamethrower will one-shot the rest of our team. I don't think Crit Proof survives against Salamence now. We'll try, though. I think if we get, like, four full restores, we should have enough to win. The AI doesn't... It goes for a random move because it sees the kill, and then it's like, oh, wait, it adds Wonder Guard. I didn't realize. It's just like a coin flip. Right. 
Revival herbs heal 50%, right. Yo, if we survive this, then we can win this battle. We have to survive a flame. What? Wait a minute. How much does that do? Is that like a third? How much is that? If I didn't give him the sun, we could have won this. I'm an idiot. Yeah, if I didn't give him the sun, I think we got a one. Mm, it'll fly here, which will give us uh, two heals. And crit proof. Yeah. You could try using dig. Just all out fly. Then I'll just use flamethrower. Fire and eight the next of the nine months. Did Walrange here cold anything? We outsped. Didn't have the chance to attack. So whoever said use uh Yeah, that was uh, a mistake, just to be clear. Doing that. Let's see. What do we close? Sunlight strong, it's gonna flamethrower. Unless by some miracle it uses like Something else? No. If we use Dragon Claw, we just 100% win. Dad? <laughs> oh shit, that's a citrus berry. <laughs> yeah, we just lose. Wait out the sunlight. Good one. It's not April 1st. You think he'll fly? He'll probably just randomly use any move because any move will crit. Da -da. Oh, I should have used it. Crit proof? No, that'd be dumb. Yeah, might not know against Shedinja anymore. Let's see. Alright, since we're burned anyways. Wait, you. What do you switch in? You're hurt by the burn? That's stupid. <laughs> uh, we survived this though. Yeah, 
Now, the scary part is... Are we out of ancient powers? We have one. Um, it will be using... Uh, it's a 50-50. 50-50! Uh. All right, so no, it was a twenty five percent. The crit definitely mattered. Oh, yeah. Flamethrowers it has left. Alright, hope to god it uses fly. Please use fly. Please use fly. Please use fly. We win! Yes, yes, yes! It's by some miracle! After a million items! He's already done with his full restores! <laughs> oh my god, how did we win that? That's insane! <laughs> Okay. Okay, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Drake. All right. Um Steven Stone Pokémon. All right. So, Revival herb, uh... This is gonna be interesting now. We now have Steven. <clears throat> Steven has a Skarmory, a Claydol, an Agron, a Craydilly, an Armaldo, and a Metagross. We should be able to one-hit the Agron. We should be able to one-hit the Metagross. No issues whatsoever. We'll just Earthquake him. Right? Armaldo, I think we can use our Rock Move. Super effective one-hit KO. The Claydol is Ground Psychic. Um, and I may have... A and it has Ancient Power. You are not one hit KOing the Metagross, I feel. Well, you're wrong about that. Uh, the thing is, uh, if Skarmory uses Steel Wing, it does get defense bonuses. Claydol does have Levitate, yes. So let, let's let's just heal the max really quick. Can Armaldo learn a water move? Maybe? No shot, bro. Wait a minute. What's Armaldo's stat? Use rare candies to revive? No, we're not going to revive in the back. Wait, 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 whoa, whoa. Can we one shot a level 55 play doll at plus six? <laughs> wait a minute. We might be able to. Uh, 
I... No, no way! Yeah, okay. Uh, Cradilia also has Ancient Power. No, all right. It can actually learn Water Pulse, yeah. Uh, so we'll keep Aerial Ace just in case. Um, yeah, Water Pulse. Water Pulse will handle Clay Doll. Uh, Ancient Power will handle Armaldo. Cradilia's Rock Grass. I think the best thing we can do there is really just hit it. Surf? Yeah, wait, can it learn Surf? No way I can learn Surf. Yeah, I don't count on surf. <clears throat> it scares me that we don't have much waterfall or dive. We cannot use dive because it could set up lights here to reflect. But yeah, maybe waterfall. No. Fighting move for Great Illy? Like rock smash? <laughs> no, that's not going to work. Um, okay, we need to use a Lepa Berry. Ancient Power. I'm just going to check the other moves as well. Um, Earthquake needs PP as well. Um, I am not so... I'm... I'm looking at this, and I am not going to use Rare Candies as revives. Uh, if we get to the point where we need to use that many, we're just screwed. What I am going to do is I will... He I will use the Revival Herbs, but I am not going to fully heal anything. Um... No, I want to fully heal it. That's weird. I'm going to use the Revival Herbs, but we're not actually going to heal anything. I'm using the Rare Candies on Crit Proof. Crit Proof needs the stats the most. Crit Proof has a Petra Berry for if Skarmory toxics it. Because we have eight heals, and we're going to need basically all of them because Skarmory is Steel Wing. I'm going to check Steel Wing really quick. How much PP does it have? 25. Yeah, so it's going to be Steel Winging a lot. So we're just going to have to buff our defense as much as we can. Okay. <clears throat> so the plan for this fight is... Uh, we're going to... It's going to... He's going to open up with Skarmory. We are going to... Um, uh, and the thing is, Steel Wing will raise his defense every single turn. So we need to start by plus six in X defense. Once we're at plus six, we'll heal off any toxics that happen. Uh, we'll use six X attack or five X attacks because that's all we have. Uh, six X specials, uh, three X speeds, and hopefully, hopefully, we'll still have enough HP to be able to KO the rest of the team with that. Crit Proof may just win this at level 58 against some very, very strong Pokemon. Um, if we, uh, if we really need to, Shedinja can actually stall out Agron and Metagross. Um, 100% it could, if we need it to. All of the other ones have Ancient Power. So, three of Steven's Pokemon have Ancient Power. If they ever use Ancient Power, they are essentially unkillable. So, we need to be very, very careful. Water Pulse is going to be the play for Skarmory, yes. Because it's going to get too many Steel Wings. Exactly. That's the plan. Alright. This is it. Let's hope we win this. If Skarmory uses spikes, oh frick, you're right. <laughs> if Skarmory uses spikes, then yeah, whatever. Do without scape, save scumming. That's the plan. No save scum. All right. Skarmory opens. 
And we immediately boost up with X defense. One. Hopefully no steel wing. Okay, let's see how much it does. 60. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. We have the berry for it. Okay, so that was two. This is three. Okay. This is four. We'll heal that off uh, this turn. Lava cookie. That's fine. He wasted a turn. That's five. Okay, I'm gonna heal this turn because I can't remember how toxic works. <laughs> Whether it'll do a lot of damage to me this turn. Stealing still does so much. It does 26. Okay, we'll get one more. There's six. That now is doing. It was at 42, so it did 30, 20, how much did that do? Some, can someone do the math? One. I did 24, okay. Let's hope every time you heal Toxic, it resets the increment. I think it does. Yeah, okay, 24, here we go. We'll do 24. We can take uh, three more of those. That's the second X speed. Yeah, I got 24. Okay. <clears throat> There's three. We should outspeed the, their entire team now. Uh, if he uses Toxic, I think we're in a really bad situation, so I'll heal. It's good. So we can survive a few more turns. Um, we now need to use all of our X attacks, all five of them. Toxic, okay. Items are looking pretty low, yeah. Very scary. Twenty-four, we at one ten. Good. Ten damage from toxic. Okay. Good. Doing. Um. If it toxic's here, I guess we're in a bad situation again. So I'm just gonna heal. I think we can afford to. Probably getting slightly low on steel wings. We only have six more turns now before we start attacking. How toxic. All right. So that'll take 10. Yes, that should be 10. How much is a crit? Two? Two X, but we can't get crit because we are crit proof. Alright. 
I think this is the second X special. How much PP does Toxic have? He's got to run out, right? Got to run out of this garbage. 40? That's 10. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. It hasn't missed any yet. Oh wait, it can't miss. I'm an idiot. Of course it can't. gonna clutch this out in the end. I knew Crip Proof would be good. Did I think this good? We do have Petra Berries, yeah. Toxic is 100% accuracy anyways? No, it's not. I mean, in this challenge it is, but not normally. It's gotta be close to finishing off its freaking other PP. That's four X specials, I think. Do I X specials bug special? No. Water pulse is special. Okay. This might not even work in the end, because it might not one shot all of the Pokemon. Which is the scary part. Okay. Lava cookie, I'm running low. And that's six, right? I wouldn't be surprised if it's out of uh, of them. Okay, energy root. I don't think we're gonna get hit with other thing anymore. It's just gonna be steel winging. Um, to use X special defense. X special defense doesn't exist. I'm gonna use more X speeds just to be safe. Okay, it did still have Toxic. Alright. Because I, I don't want to be surprised by anything. Okay. What's your strategy? Um, medication. Six the magic number. Six is the maximum that can go up. It's diminishing returns after, like, the second one. My peep HP at? 86. Okay. Don't have any effect. Don't have any effect. Okay. Won't have any effect. Let's heal the full, and then decimate. Here we go. <clears throat> yep, minimum damage. None of them have accuracy reducing moves. We just gotta go for it. Just gotta go for it. That doesn't do a lot. Uh, uh, Cradilly uh, has ancient power, which it could use. Okay. 
Okay, that's good. Took out the Cradilly. Armaldo. Uh, no, we will not switch. Ancient power is super effective. And we kill. All right. Played all is the scariest one. It's super effective. Oh no. He's gonna heal. Uh... We might be okay. We might be fine. Because he'll probably heal that. There's no way he outspeeds. There's no way he outspeeds. As, as long as... As long as... I, I think we're fine. I think we're still fine. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. We're fine, I think. Oh... <laughs> Okay, that's good. That's good. Only five attacks. That's special. We use six X specials. Come on. It's a special move. Okay, good. If only we had leveled up before. <laughs> Metagross. Okay, an earthquake should take it out. And it does. Now we just have an Agron. Who has Sturdy. Which fortunately sucks in this gen. So this is gonna be a one hit KO. Yeah. <laughs> and that's it. Pokemon Ruby. The worst luck possible. Man, that was tough. That was a hard one. But well, we did it! We did it! Oh! All the way through the E4. No problem. First try on Drake. First try on Steven. I was never worried. We didn't almost wait out on Drake. Yeah! So good. Easy. And it was basically all thanks to Crit. Crit Proof pretty much swept nearly everything in this. Blaziken did like a little bit, but yeah, no, it was Crit Proof all the way through. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Guard. Nice. That was a really cool challenge. Saving don't let's see the team that did it, obviously. Crit proof, level 59 Armaldo. The the MVP. Dawn, who is good fodder. At sign, thanks for making this for me. Sun Groudon, we barely used it at all. <laughs> Water boy. HMs. And Shedinja, which helped in a, a couple of battles. Honestly, it was kind of just like crit proof and then like Groudon came in occasion. I, I'm surprised at how bad Groudon was in this. Groudon just kept getting stomped. There we go. That is this challenge done. You guys want to hear what the next challenge is? I'm sure you know. The next challenge is going to be a really fun one. Because it's not even a challenge, okay? It's science. It's research. Alright? The next challenge. The next thing we do in Pokemon. Is something I saw as a kid. On supercheats.com. It was a post on supercheats.com on how to get the magic muffler. Here's what it said. 
get the magic muffler. Okay. This is too complicated for beginners, so I suggest that only those who succeed will able be able to do these cheats. But if you want, it's up to you. First thing to do, release all your Pokemon except the weakest. Me, all of my Pokemon is level 100, so it's worth it. Second thing to do, challenge Elite Four. You should win it. Also, this cheat will work fast if you don't use any healing items. Don't forget, challenge the Elite Four ten times. Third thing to do, trade with a friend. Trade your weakest Pokemon. Your friend must give you a Rattata holding Iapapa Berry. Fourth thing to do, use Versus Seeker. Challenge all the trainers you meet from Pallet Town up to Savai Islands. Fifth thing to do, catch a Dratini. You can catch one in the Safari Zone. Sixth thing to do, train Dratini until it evolved to Dragonite. Seventh thing to do, make Dragonite hold a Salak Berry. Eighth thing to do, challenge Elite Four five times. Ninth thing to do, go to Professor Oak, then use Fly three times. Last, trade your Dragon Knight. The Salak Berry it holds will become, will became a Magic Muffler. Question, what does the Magic Muffler do? Answer, it makes your Pokemon's experience move fast. For example, your Squirtle holds a Magic Muffler. Squirtle is at level 5. After battling, your Squirtle will be level 97. Next stream, we will be getting the Magic Muffler. I've always wanted one. I want my experience to move fast. But that's all I got for stream today. Tomorrow we're finishing the poke or the Super Mario Odyssey. Uh, every moon you get, the gravity is random, and uh, then Friday is Breath of the Wild speedruns. That's all I got for you guys, though. Who are we raiding? Let's see. Hopefully. Let's hope Annabella's stream hasn't died. We're going to raid someone playing Dark Souls 2. Who are we raiding? My girlfriend. Have a good night, everybody. I will see you all tomorrow. Fun stream. I'm glad this was a really fun challenge. Honestly, if you're, if you're looking into a way, a way to make Pokemon more difficult while not really changing the game all that much, this is a really good way to do it. It was really good. Anyways, hope everyone has an excellent evening. Bye-bye!